Yo. What's up, everybody? We got a cool show tonight, guys. We got a cool little, uh... We got a cool little thing going tonight. Happy Friday. Uh, my camera's backwards again. Let's fix that. Because we're not on Fetter's stream right now. We'll swap that around. We get a little treat starting things out. This is the end of the last game that these guys are playing on this table. Then they're going to move to a neighboring table. But Francis has given Moritz a little try in one hole right now. Uh, I believe that they're dead even right now. But I, I don't know what the score is, honestly. I, and I'll leave it up to them. Uh, I'll leave it up to your imaginations whether or not I'm being accurate or not. I'm not even going to look at the beads. What's up, Mike Myers? Welcome to the stream, sir. Good to see you. I saw you got your... Uh, Saw you got your t-shirt. Speaking of t-shirts. Don't be a nit, guys. Don't be a nit. Michael Aldaffer, what's up? I need to change the color of this chat box. Give me one second, guys. Hopefully it refreshes with a good color. But yeah, after these guys are done playing this game, we're going to have... Rance Nichols playing Chris Sanchez. Oh my God, Moritz just dogged a ball that he was going after wholeheartedly. And Francis has an angle here that he can cheat the pocket. But yeah, we'll, we'll uh, show you guys what's going on. Oh, Moritz has a burger. He's got a little burger up there, a little burger action. But yeah, we got all the, the typical rail birds in the house. Bobby ready to play in the second set. Chilling over there. Daniel Bradley getting ready to play in the second set. And then we've got uh, the other side of the room. Rolando's been in action probably every moment of every day that he's been here for the last week. Did Francis make this cut shot? It's going to be close. Good Lord, that guy hits the ball good. Rolando, like I said, getting in action. He's playing Daniel Battle right now. It looks like maybe Jermaine Lazaga hitting some balls down there on table six as well. I mean, Action Central, whenever any pro comes into town, whoops. Whenever any pro comes into town, people all get inspired to get in some action. Looks like Carl's coming here to talk to me, so I'm going to find out what he's going to say. Never mind, he's not. That was Grubs. Adam Stickles was up here today. No way. No way. Would have been nice to see you. Of course, I refreshed the color, and it's not any better. Let's try again. This is actually the first that I've seen Moritz hit balls since he got here. It's playing, playing a little one-hole with Francis. Grubbs is going to come in the booth. Here he comes. Hey there. The man himself. Dang, Rance is changed. What do you mean? Oh, yeah. Rance has gotten a little better at the game. Yeah. It's going to come up short, isn't it? Come up just short. Cue ball. Super far away. Moritz is going to have to kick this ball out. Francis. Look into the heavens. You know, Moritz had a little uh, sniper in him. Did you see that earlier? No. Oh, man, it was... I almost don't believe wild. it. It was pretty wild. He did, he, he did like, like the classic, like... Yeah, 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 yeah. This is go all out, bank this at the 10 ball, baby. I like this. Because you play speed, yeah. you play the speed, the bank gets like made funny by where the seven ball's sitting. Like, because of where the cue ball's gonna end up. Look, where, oh, he hit it was super short. Yeah. So and, the, the, and, then it, and then if you miss it, you leave like one up top and one on the bottom. Well, yeah, I was, yeah. Sa I was saying if you hit the 10, the 10 comes down here and the 14 ball still stays right here, but yeah. the cue ball ends up over here. Right. Which makes this, you know, seven ball just gets a little funny in there. That's right. all. Trying oh, to manage all that. You. Bye bye balls. He might even pin him back to the 14. Yeah, he 
left the bank. Ooh, he left the bank. The 10 goes, goes out of play for the bank, too. So he... the 14 ball is not bankable. No, it isn't. I take it back. I'd fire it. What's up, Ken Harwell? Hello, Ken. We're just waiting for these guys. Where are they? Chris Sanchez was just hitting balls a second ago. Where'd he go? There's Ray. There he is, Chris Sanchez. Waiting on this guy to play some nine ball against Rance Nichols. Rance Nichols over here hitting balls with... Uh... Oh, look at these guys. They're like playing teams. Yes, I have, Adam. Because Bobby's playing... Bobby's playing Danny in the second set. There's no way you bank that ball. I, I saw Adam here earlier today. Is my chat box just absolutely broken? Is the YouTube chat popping off, guys? The YouTube chat is... What up, Michael? Not popping off. <laughs> Why is Moritz in town? He just stopped by. Check out the spot before he goes to Vegas. Because he was going to be on this side of the country. Came up from Columbia. Needed a place to hang out for about a week before heading to Vegas. I think he was supposed to... I heard... Uh, John say they mostly came to talk to uh, Oscar Alvin. Talk to him? Yeah, like, a little, like I don't, I, you know, no. Uh, what about? Yeah, I, gotcha. But what's up, Gerard? Dude, the colors that my chat box is picking today is—it's just not doing it for me. I need something brighter. I need something brighter. Oh, uh, I want a couple sets, Adam. Now you can bank at this ball. Yeah, I played Paris and he was not feeling well. His back's messed up. Oh, he sent it. Wow. What is going on with the chat box colors tonight? It's all illegible. Up, Gerard. I can't read a single name that the chat box has given me tonight. You just you just have to wait for Francis to walk in front of it. Let me just say it like this, though. Let me say it like this: at the U.S. Open, it's going to be a lot easier to read. Yeah. Well, not much. <laughs> Whoa. I'll work on that, guys. Don't worry about it. Whoa. There we go. That's a little better. A green. Not great, but Ike. better. What's going on, Ike? Oh, baby. Kick the 10, baby. Sup? Is that everybody? No, it's just you. Yep, yep. A couple of little $200 sets tonight. After this, we got Rance Nichols playing Chris Sanchez some nine ball next. That's going to be a race to seven. You can see there at the bottom of the screen. And then after that, we got a race to three between Bobby Jan and Daniel Bradley. One pocket. Ooh. Bobby's giving him 9-7. Mm -hmm. Could be a long night. I don't know. Rance, they, I would say Rance and Chris probably on average take about an hour and a half. Race for a to race seven. to seven. Nine ball? Nine ball. On average. Yeah. We're not racing to seven one pocket, Gerard. These guys are just uh, playing some cheap games, relatively cheap games. We get this little treat 
because they kept the table after 6 p.m. <laughs> so they're, I told them, go ahead and finish this game. And, uh, and we'll get on to our sets as soon as they're all finished up. What's happening, Collins? We're back here in Boston watching this post-up action. These guys can't make a ball. Can you get those 500 Fargos on here so we can see some shot making? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you, Dave Canova. Will do. <laughs> they got rid of the Wasn't there a big money match tonight? I don't know, Scott Chandler. Is there a big money match somewhere happening tonight? Give us the info. Yeah, Adam, all the, the Asian fusion food is gone, Mr. Stickles. I can't deal with these names in the chat box. I can't do it. One more time. Give me pink or something. Give me pink or light blue. Orange. Give me orange. I'm not greedy. In a good way. That's what I meant. <laughs> Light green's fine. As the kids these days might say, I can mess with light green. Don't want to scratch here. Imagine. Imagine. Woo. Look at that cue ball. So, do we know who's up? Nope. I'm not keeping score because we're not here to watch these guys. I mean, we're here to watch these guys. I mean, I'm, not, I'm in it. I'm in it, but. What's up, Chuck a look. You got to shoot this eight ball. It's free. Yeah. Free money, baby. Looks like we have a five to four ball count here. This this ball is supposed to be on layaway. It's gonna roll out. He didn't he didn't hit it either. Ooh, it didn't roll it didn't roll out though. Oh it, it did at the end there. What happened to the ramen? Uh the cook that cooked it. Tried to bluff. <laughs> it didn't work out. Anyway, the cook that cooked it doesn't work here anymore. Did you hear that story? No. no. I got to do a little off mic action. Cool stories. Oh, dang. What's up, man art? Manor. Any word yet on the next post up event similar to the Battle Royale you did? Uh I'm wanting to do something in April. Yeah, we'll see what, what happens or how things go with the U.S. Open. Uh, and I'd like to take a portion of the money that, that is raised out there to put towards that. So I'll, I'll probably announce something towards the end of, of the U.S. Open. Look at this shot. Yeah. And do you kick this one in? Kick the eight ball in. Do it. Oh, bang. See, that's why you came up short. Should have kicked it. 
try try harder next time. Yeah. I think you're supposed to draw. I think you're supposed to bank this and draw to the eight ball. Draw to the eight. Oh. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Hmm. It looks like it's what he's gearing up. It's a for. little bit thin for that. Yeah, he's looking at it now. He might have to go forward with it. It's a little thin to draw there. So he's trying the three rail Forward position, rail. rifle it in. Oh, oh no, no. <sighs> Sorry for the delay, guys. We're waiting for these, these jerks to get off our table. So we can watch Rance and Chris play some. I'm 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 not gonna say anything, but I did say then you know like hey, are we gonna tell them? Are we gonna let them know? Francis needs two. No, he needs one. A week from tonight, I'll be in Flagstaff headed for Vegas. Get in there, Jeremy Brown. Holy long shot. Uh, man, R, we don't have anything officially announced. I think he sold out the four ball here. I think he sold out the four. It depends on how much of a gap there is between the cue ball and the four, but it might be shootable. He's going to take a look. And if it goes, Francis is well, shooting he's right now. Him behind the sky, I think. Oh. He's putting him in the oh, my days. Yeah, no, so uh, no, no official announcement of any matchup. But if anything interesting happens this weekend, I'll be around. And if they are okay with it being streamed or want it streamed, then I'll stream it. But he's not here specifically to play any matches. He's just in town checking out the action. Am I going to the Predator Series at the Rio? No. I likely will not be getting into town until after uh, that is over. Are you kidding me? That had There was no room for that ball. Past the seven? Yeah. There's... Like he might be out. Half. Yeah. If he can get a good angle on the seven and get almost where he is now on the yeah. four ball. A good angle. This is, He's like, I'm this, making the ball. This is not not enough. Not enough angle to get where he needs to go, I don't think. That four is real close. to. The, it's a double kiss. No, right where he just pointed, I think it's a double kiss. It's too close to the rail. Unless you you do the, uh, the old twister, you know. Is it inside? Inside, inside, yeah. No, he definitely didn't get there here. We're down to a single ball game here. Interesting spot. What's the guy's name that... Uh, the just started working here uh, I don't know his name give me a quick mic check by the way mic check perfect I didn't have it in there enough yeah you're a little little bit out there little out there I know I know yeah I was playing a, uh, you know he, he'd asked me to play last night and like I was actually practicing about it. I got time for one game. This ball might go if it doesn't kiss. Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> <laughs> and we got the old fist bump. These guys are having fun. Oh my god! It was in the hole. It was. Yeah, but he like he. He's only played for three months, and he hits the ball real good. Too short. Too railer. No. There, ooh, it might have straightened out enough where the two railer might go. No double kiss. Stop your rock. I don't think you can follow on this two railer. When I say I don't like this shot, I, I don't. Oh, the one rail. Good lord. Now we're shooting a two railer. Tommy? Not Tommy. What is that? Adam Stickles. Are you. He's just making stuff up. He's just making stuff up again. 
gym bit. No? A little long. Oh, this ball's tough to get out. This ball's tough to get out without double kissing and something funny happening. Yeah. For the old Ooh, the four ball, do. the four ball is going to end up in a good mm. spot for Francis. Yeah. A really good spot for Francis, and look, he's got yeah. the two rail, the two railer. He's going to shoot at this like a, he should shoot it like quite hard. So Try you to, don't sell out of bounds. Yeah, you want the cue ball that, or the three ball. If you miss it, you want it to end up near the. Uh, cut? No, he's not. Nope. He's playing safe. Look at his cue ball speed. Yeah. Look! Look! He took one stroke and poked it with the bridge, and look at his cue ball. <laughs> oh, that's how you lose a game. That's a real great way to lose a game as fast as possible. What's up, Shannon? Shannon, what's going on? Wow, interesting little game there. Thanks for the show, boys. Good stuff. We're going to have our boys, Rance Nichols, coming in. There he is. Rance Arino. We're about to see what Moritz was Rance trying Aroni. to do. Moritz was trying to leave the two-rail bank. But look at him just make the ball. Hi-ya. So they're for sure going to be able to get another table, so they'll be playing some more, probably. And Chris Sanchez be coming in here. I'll turn up my music. My music's too quiet. This young man right there is going to be a world destroyer in the next couple years. Rance is like, get over here, Chris. Let's lag. Come on, buddy. Rance stepping it up. Where's he at? Where's he at? 50 Fargo point difference. Yeah, it's close, dude. This is a close one, I think. I also told Rance, he's one of the guys that... Good. I also told Rance that he's one of the guys that uh, I trust to if he wants to, sh to play something, you know? Yeah. Especially, there's, there's not many guys what under... Up, Craig? There's not many guys under 500 Fargo that I'm cool with them just picking any matchup and I'll right. stream it. Right, right, right. You know. He's got some gamble in him. He's also got enough of the id gaff in him that he in, can id, id gaff. gaff. I don't give a... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's got enough of that in him that he can, he can swing it, you know. You can take a swing at anyone. <laughs> yeah, pool ace. Uh, that was a, what, 710 Fargo and a 790 Fargo playing some one pocket. Yeah. Uh, what's his name? John. John was saying that he doesn't really play one pocket. Yeah. Which, yeah. Here we go. Chris Sanchez to break. They're using the magic rack, so you know we're looking at that wing ball going straight in the corner. It doesn't go. 
Two ball finds a hole, and the one ball about a light year away may as well be on the other side of the galaxy mm. for the opening shot here for Chris Sanchez. you got to imagine he's going to shoot at it, though. Try to cut the table, go back and forth, and get some type of look at the three ball. Yeah, but I mean, what are you... I just, I just jack up and you know what send, I say, and send the one ball three rails towards the six. You know what I say when when someone asks, "What do you do after that?" When you know the guy's gonna shoot at it, don't ask, don't tell. Mm. What? He shot your shot. You see that? Well. We're both about 5.30 Fargo. So. <laughs> I'm not for sure he'd be shooting. You know. Was, that was smart. He scratched. Unlucky. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, hey, ho, ho, perfect. <laughs> that doesn't go on the side, though. Does the 3 it? 9 goes on the side, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I don't ever look at that. Oh, he just slow rolls it. Like it's just well, it makes the pocket going. bigger. Yeah. It makes the pocket bigger. He does. You know what makes the pocket bigger? Lube? What? When you slam it and you have yeah. three pockets instead of one. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. I haven't watched Chris play a bunch here. Ooh, you he, ca he can play I've, well I mean, at times. Yeah, so. And then it, you know, it's, he's, he's got a little bit of my game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? You know what makes the pocket bigger? Ooh, sorry, practice makes the pocket bigger. Nice one, Adam Stickles. Dang. <laughs> we're, we're just playing who can scratch more. <laughs> Wait, did they just, did he just scratch? He scratched. Dang. So is that two? No. I mean, he scratched, then Rent scratched, so that's two, right? Two scratches in one game. That's not how that works. No, especially since there were multiple innings in between. By the way, speaking of, look how fast these guys both play. They're both the get on with it kind of guy. Yeah. This guy, Chris, so he plays with a bunch of backhand English, and he loves to spin the ball. Yeah. You can tell he just loves to spin the ball. Yeah, he is, uh, he is Filipino. He's got, he's like, got a little bit of that boosty elbow movement. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, no doubt. Perfect shot. Perfect shot. <laughs> nice one, Christian. <laughs> Whoa. That ball reacted funny. Which one? The cue ball? The object ball. It just, I mean, I know it, like, it kind of shot it into the rail, but still it did something weird. Not really. I think it just did something that you weren't expecting. What's up, Ron? Ron Stevenson in the chat. I'm trying, Big Queen. I might need to pick up a monster here. What up, Marty? 
<laughs> Chris. Frankie, I'm doing good, buddy. What do you like here? You like following to the short rail and coming back down for the nine in the side? Uh, I think so. Hard to tell from this range. I don't like yeah. shooting in the corner because it's so blind. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Even no, though I that's the obvious that. shot, I think mm, a pro yeah. shoots it in the corner. Actually, I don't know. Maybe. It's just one of those funny angles. Also, with that angle, that specific angle, cutting that in the corner, uh, throw can come into play. Right. You know what I mean? Where yeah, yeah. I think the side pocket just plays bigger. Yeah. And if you're missing the nine for sure with the cue ball, it's like automatic to get position on it in the side. As far right. As, as far as yeah, speed yeah, goes, yeah. you don't really have to worry about the speed very much. A train in the chat. What's going on, Robert? I haven't seen you in a while. Wow. wow how thin. thin can you hit a ball? Dang. Oh, maybe they're done. Francis and Maurice. Looks like Maurice is eating. That's a nice shot. <laughs> Bless you. That's a nice shot, Rance. <coughs> oh my God, stop. I can't stop. Can't stop, won't I'm like, stop. I'm like Neo. Nice. I just can't stop, no, oh. <laughs> Rance Nichols taking game one. Ah. Mm. Jimmy and I have been trying to get a game together like all week. In the beginning of the week, I was like, ah, I don't feel like playing today. And then the next time I saw him, I was like, all right, let's go. He's like, ah, I don't feel like. <laughs> Hello. Don't worry about that, guys. What? What, is, what, is this? What, what? what am I looking at? The sign or the logo? 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 It's straight up, Christian. Hey, 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 hey. I think there's an edge. And if I like that one, I'm going to have him do it with the three other ones. Yeah. Ooh, I was... Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Oh, I made the ball. Let's go. Damn. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The room music needs to be turned down. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Ike. Thank you, everyone. Oh, he, he liked it so much, he just thought he'd try it again. That one was not hard enough, though. I'll turn up the, uh, I'll turn up my music a touch, too, to cover it up. Yeah, I saw Chris playing, uh... Adrian, when I first saw him play. Oh, yeah? Adrian was giving him the seven ball. And just watching him play, I'm like, Adrian, you you can give him the seven ball for sure. <laughs> and then that, yeah. I actually, I actually thought Chris would be a better player. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yes, absolutely, Adam. 
get on Discord. Get a match. There's plenty of uh, just short of 500, like we have one here. Rance. Maybe Rance and Adam would be a good match. What do you think? I haven't really seen Adam play a whole lot, but. I don't know. Who oh, no. Or hell, maybe. Hell. Uh, no, I think maybe Mila would be a little too strong. Camila? Yeah. Or do you think that's a good game? No, I think that's a good game. You think Camila beats Rance? No, no, no. Uh, Adam. No, I know, but you offered. You said that Rance would be a good match. Well, yeah, fair. True. Yo, Frankie Ridgeway asks, what's your PayPal? It's uh it's post up live stream at gmail.com. Thanks for asking. Let's go rants with the kick shot. Believe me, Adam, I I am uh <laughs> I, I'm there too. I'm like a I'm like a 350 or a 600. up like he was gonna hammer and I thought like that was one of the scratches I was worried about. Ugh. Dang. Wow I just got word that Fetter's gonna be allowed to stream his own matches for the US Pro Billiard Series. Nice. And World Ten Ball. That's awesome. Oh no. 10, 20, 30, one pocket? What is oh, nice, Bart. What? what? There's a one pocket event happening at, at uh, Join and Q. It was announced on Join and Q's page. I think Randy Walker shared it to me. Let me put it on screen if I can find it. Oh, Let's let Rance so or oh. let Chris shoot this and then I'll show everybody in the uh, chat lands. Look at this jump shot. He made a good hit. I wasn't watching. Yep. Good hits. Good hits. Good hits. Um. That's this. 10, 20, 30. New starting players, 10 bucks. Mid range players, 20. Top level players, 30 bucks. So it's just a tiered entry fee, one pocket tournament. When am I heading to Vegas, uh, beginning of the month? Oh, and uh, guys, don't forget. <laughs> don't be a nit. That's a good question. Dang. It's actually a, it's actually a an incomplete message. The full message is don't be a nit. Post up. 
France coming with it. Nice shot. Hell yeah, Jeremy Brown. Let's go. Ooh. He missed that ball, but I like the way Rance is hitting the ball. Yeah, Jarrett, it took about a week. I think it took a week and a half to get after I ordered it. I'm not sure. Shaw's new Q sponsor, you hear anything? Uh, no. Here we go, Chris Sanchez getting game number two. Hey, Nitz. You don't, you don't have a cat. I do not. Okay, good. What in the heck is bothering you? Yeah, uh, humidifier. Or purifier, yeah. Oh, A knit. A knit is. Would you say it's somebody who's just looking for the stone cold nuts? You catch that, Edie? Oh, I was uh, not paying attention. Did did Chris get that game? Are we at one one? One to one. Goes after it here? Yeah. I could tell by the way it was winding up. Yeah. Yeah, Edie, it applies to anything where wagering is involved. It's a little Pagulion esque. Yeah. The way he moved. He Dude, does. Frankie Ridgeway. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Chris Knowles coming in with a ten dollar super chat says help pay Collins way to Vegas challenge. Thank you. Here comes Chris. Yeah. It's a good thing that six is right in the hole. <laughs> right. Yeah, pretty much. Bart, Bart Mahoney nailed the definition right there. Good stroke there. I feel like if it was in if if the definition of a of a knit was in the Oxford Dictionary. Obviously, there's the the traditional definition that's like some sort of bug, I forget. Uh, 
but then the secondary definition in gambling terms. In the dictionary, it would have to include the opposite of Jesse Whistler. Jesse Whistler is certainly not a nit. He's honestly, honestly, more than anybody else that I know locally. I respect the hell out of that guy's action. Like, seriously. He will get up and fire. Yep. Rance Nichols is similar. Uh, who, who else around here is like that? Honestly, Daniel Bradley's going to be there, I think, yeah. at some yeah. point soon. Yeah. Uh, Rudy. Rudy? Yeah. Look at this <laughs> shot. <laughs> Rudy was in here earlier, and, and somebody said that, like, oh, when, when I asked uh, about Zaldi playing, and Rudy's like, yeah, I'll play. <laughs> I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. like, I don't even know what you're talking about, but yes, I'll play. Yeah. <laughs> Chris Sanchez showing us... Uh, Showing us the better part of his game here. Was that a breaky run ski? No, it wasn't. Was that a breaky run ski? Uh, maybe. I know he banked the... He, that was from the one ball. I don't know if he broke. So he broke. And then Rance missed, I think. Yeah, Rance. He broke dry. Rance, Rance missed. Died. And then Chris ran out. Let's go, Chris Sanchez. Let's go. <laughs> Knit noun: a person that won't bet if bet that water's wet. No, no, no. J Jesse is somebody that plays out here. He's been on the stream a few times. Yeah. What's up, Dylan? Dylan Kennedy in the chat. Dylan Kennedy. Wait, is that... I don't think that's one of our Dylans. Is that not... That's not Chico Kennedy? Or Chico Dylan? Which one's Chico Dylan? Uh, the one that plays against the beard all the time. No, that's uh, Dylan uh, Cartwright. 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 Wait, really? Your last name is Kennedy? <laughs> Are you running for president anytime soon? Dang. That joke was bad. Dang. <laughs> A little hard. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Sup, no. nerds? Dang. Did you see the position, positional uh, shot there that Rance just did? Off the point? Yeah. Gotta like it. Please get there with this draw shot. They just, they'll never get there. You go forward with it. Yeah, no, side. I know. Uh, yeah, you got to go, got to go forward with that ball, unless you've got Francis's stroke, you know. Right. Yeah. Unless you've got Paul Rossiter's stroke. <laughs> <laughs> Joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's up, Sean? Dang. I was trying to avoid energy. We'll call that a good hit. Uh, that was a good hit. I mean, he moved he the five moved with the rake, right, yeah, but, right. but it was only one ball. It's cue ball fouls only. Hello, uh... Tang. I'm, I'm going to go with Tang. I'm, I, I would butcher the, <laughs> the first part. It's got to be Dao Tang. Dao? It's got to be Dao. Dao. Yeah. Hello, Dao Tang. Where's Moritz? 
He is, uh, where, where is, is he? he? Moritz these days. Let's find out. If you want to see him play a little bit of one hole, they were wrapping up some action on this table when we started the stream. He and a really solid local player, really good local player, Francis Rita Rita. But I don't know if they continued the action or not. I don't think they did. I don't think so either. I, I saw Moritz was uh, eating. Uh, oh, no. They, oh, they are yeah. continuing. Okay. Down here on the tight table. Francis is you, like, I want to see if he misses a ball on this table. You know what's... You know how you know... Sorry. You know a player's outrageously good when they wear a sweatshirt playing pool and they don't give a... They don't care at all that the sleeves are hanging over half their hand. You know what I mean? He just knows what he's got to do. Um, I was, I was going to say, you know, the beginning of that. No, your sleeves are too short. Oh, I see. Look how comfortable. Look how comfortable. Put that on your side. Leave him in this. Oh, he hit it. Wait. Oh, that must be Francis's hole with the 14. Francis has the 14 in front of this hole. Anyway, we're not here for this tonight. We're here for this. Just wanted to give a little nod to the great young man that's in the room tonight. But in the progress of a shot, it's a foul. No, New Jersey pool player, that is not correct. That is only the case if the ball that you move with your cue or the bridge is very, 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 very close to the cue ball, right? So if you're jacked up over a ball, and as you're striking the cue ball, you strike the ball that you're jacked up over, that's a foul. Uh, not currently, Jeremy Brown, but I could I could set things in stone. While I'm in Vegas, I can work on scheduling and stuff too, so. Three rails. What's she trying to figure out here? How to get on the nine. Slow roll it. Shoot the nine on the right hand side if you don't have the inside spin stroke. If you got the inside spin, just check it. And get the cue ball right where it is now. Tried to check it, I think. You see how much he moved his cue? Holy crap. Yeah. Jeremy Brown wants to play with this guy. I definitely thought Jeremy Brown was somebody else. Who's the Brown that plays out here that plays pretty good? Robert Brown? Bobby Brown? The sniper? No. That plays like maybe 650 to not quite 700. There's a Gary. Gary Brown plays pretty good. Got it. Um, yeah, I was. What do you do here? He's trying to throw I it. Cut it in. Cut it in, baby. Let's go. Don't be scared. Come on. Well, you also have to shoot the other way, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes, I gathered that, Jeremy. Took me a minute.
It makes me anxious watching him play. Know what I'm saying? You never know where that cue is going to go. You talking about Chris? Yeah. Or Rance? Uh, Chris. Chris, yeah, it's because he moves so much. Dude, Rance is God. good at that shot. Yeah. He is. It's because he's a straight shooter. He's just really good at uh, <laughs> yeah. knowing where the cue ball is going to contact the object ball with no spin on it. You know. Oh, I'm sorry, Jeremy. Man, I I didn't get much sleep. Was, yeah, I was, I'm trying to I'm trying to avoid the energy thing. Speaking of, you want something? Frankie Ridgeway's buying. Uh, I, I will, I will, t I'll just take a, one of the, one of the monsters. Ooh, yeah, the, 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 the white monster. The music is a little bit ethereal right now, isn't it? Let's listen to this song. It's called Liquid Planet, and it's featuring floating anarchy. Seems promising. Good luck, guys. A $2 sample of Jack. Mm. <laughs> Three rails. Ooh. Don't let him do it to you, Rance. Oh, yeah, this is going to be bad. What's that up, Odiums? Oh. Wow. Wow, indeed. Yeah, it seems like it's a small gap, but it's actually easy to get through there. Oh, so you, you mean uh, the safety on the brake? Somebody... Um, Somebody scratched. You get ball in hand and three foul, so. Oh, Oscar's here. Giggity. All right.
No, when somebody scratches on the brake, then it's not the brake anymore. So you can take ball in hand and try and play safe. And three foul as uh, Chris did. That's always been my understanding of it at least. Maybe there are other sets of rules which I'm unaware of. I mean, that's technically the break, but the person breaking can miscue and not break, and it's just the other person's turn. That's my understanding of it. He does hit that shot well. Mm. Didn't make it, but... Depends on the mood. I'm more of the uh, the white monster. I like the sugar-free ones better. I don't think the ones with sugar taste good. Um, watermelon's okay. So that would so if that doesn't happen then it would be an illegal break, correct, Chris? So what happens on an Ill illegal break? Oh wow. Dang. Must be re-racked. Hmm. Wait. Did the nine ball fall? I thought the nine ball hung up. What just happened? So we're at four two. did fall. Yeah, so if on a scratch, the brake changes hands. Well, I don't know. Like I said, I've, all, I've, I've always had it. If somebody scratches on the brake, whether it's ball flies off the table, miscue, uh, you can three foul them. So, I don't know. Thank you. 
Oh, okay. That makes sense, guy. And yeah, this is like Texas Texas Express. Blah. Blah. Dude, it's weekends like this that I I really love. Where it's like <clears throat> you know, it's not necessarily like a big event or something going on, you know? Yeah. But just somebody comes into town and now all of a sudden Oscar's hanging out in the room. Right. And now you got, you know, action on almost every table. Yeah. It's so fun. Man. Yeah. This is how a pool hall. This is like. Yeah, pool players. Are uh, I do not see Kevin here, Scott. <laughs> by the way, someone's up by two games over here. I don't know who's up. They seem like they're having fun, too. Yeah, it seems close enough. You know what I mean? Yeah. Seems close enough. I know Moritz isn't isn't much of a. He doesn't really care for the game of one pocket, mainly probably for the reasons of not really being super familiar with the game and seeing right. seeing the whole structure of the game, you know? He probably sees it about as well as I do, you know what I mean? But he executes a hell of a lot better than me. <laughs> I would assume, yeah. like, if I were to guess. I don't. I have no right. idea, really, but... Guys that can play that good, they can see the game better faster, but if you don't play it enough... I do not hear Kevin. Okay, I hear Kevin. Whatever. I just, like, yeah. like, just as I opened my mouth. Opened my fat mouth. And Chris is starting to run away with this. Yeah. I guess he, Rance, Rance, I bumped into him out of the bar and he says, he says, man, I don't know what's going on. I said, what do you mean? He says, man, I was playing lights out out front here in the set that I played before the match. Yeah. He played a set with somebody before the match. Yeah. And uh, said he played great. Won 50 bucks. He's like, cool, I'm free rolling on $50 of this set. Right, right. And he says, now I'm playing like crap, and Chris just three fouled me. Yeah. Um, Ooh, Chris lost his cue ball here, though. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Rance looks like he's playing. Like, he's not playing bad, though. Uh, we're in Sacramento, California. Yeah, Jarrett. Sacramento, California. Hard times billiards. Hiya. It looks like he's winding up to shoot this in the side. No, I think he's just banking. Oh. He's playing safe. He does that. He what, does this big wind-up stroke. Yeah, he does when he when he's gonna like shoot real soft, he like winds up. Yeah. Ooh, I didn't set up my side cameras today. I dogged it. Three on the side. Ooh, nine ball got in the way. No dice. Robuster. Rubster. Uh, absolutely. Ayo, Ayo Joey asks, is it legal to gamble on pool in California? No, you're not allowed to gamble on someone else's match. But if you're playing somebody else directly and you're placing a wager on that it's a game of skill you're entering in a two person tournament mm. yowza that's gonna make life easy yeah he's, he's, he's got some uh, jelly rolls here too I think he is Philippine. He's wait, is he? He's like uh, no idea. I think somebody said he's Japanese. I don't know. I don't know. What Whatever up, Daryl? Well, look at look right at the now. tattoo on the. Huh? Is that? It looks like it may or may not be an, uh, of a language that is not English. That's about all I know. <laughs> <laughs> Rance, you can feel the sweat. Uh, Shannon, who showed up is uh, Maurice 
New Housen? Yeah. No, New Housen? I would say um, uh, Americans would say Moritz New Housen. Yeah. Um, just short of 800 Fargo. Number two player out of Germany. Which could be anything when you consider that he's he's right. Oh my god, he's right there with Torsten home, and I think Torsten's yeah. currently like a seven ninety, seven eighty. Yeah. I wonder. Oh, dang. Um. Yeah. Um. That's fair. Rance likes to step it up, though. You know, he he gambles a fair bit, so. Oh, yeah, Torsten's 788. So, I mean, they're probably, in theory, about even, but I'd say, as of late, Moritz has had some really good results in yeah. fairly strong field tournaments. Um... Big Queen, I, th I, you know, I, I, I think maybe now may not be <laughs> the time. Like I don't, I don't feel like we should be bothered. Now. Yeah, no, he's he's not gonna come in and talk about the Lukasi tour. I can tell you. Man, my allergies are starting to get to me again. Uh, I can tell you that they've we've been talking in our group chat all the people who are going to be involved in the Lukasi West Coast Tour production. Um, we've been talking in our group chat, and some dates have been thrown around. It looks like it's going to be very almost certain that it's starting in April. Mm, nice. Yeah, Rance is definitely a dog, but... Uh, we do not know who Shaw signed with. In the booth, we do not know. Maybe somebody in chat knows. Chat knows all. Like you read my mind, Tin Can. Ah, okay. There you go. Shaw signed with Jay Flowers. <laughs> Dang. Good shot, but I think he hooked himself. This is true, Chris. There we go. Come on, finish up the rack. Ah. Dang. 
yanked at that one a little bit. Little yankage. <laughs> if bit what level of player could you beat? So if I'm playing with a good queue and they're playing with a Walmart queue? Hmm. Well, I'm bad at pool anyway, so... The house cues actually hit well, I'm telling you. this I've been playing Collins and he's been playing with the house cube and I've been doing fairly well did you hear that they were asking like what the difference is in like somebody like somebody's playing with a good cue and then another person's playing with a like, like Walmart cue and I told uh, Adam Sickles that, you know, I've been playing you and you've been playing with the house queue and I've been playing, I've been doing fairly well with it. So, you know. What do you mean? What are you trying to say? Um, I'm trying, whoa. A little overcut it there. <sighs> Dang. That's... I've been playing pretty good with a house queue. I've been playing a lot better than I thought I could with the house queue. I didn't play great against you because I kept trying to... I was, like, experimenting with different bridge lengths and spin. Yeah, sure. No, I'm serious. I know. Uh -huh. Wow. Looks like this set is over, eh? Yeah. If you give it a month to get used to it, maybe... It also depends on the player. I think having been playing with a house queue when I've played lately, uh, I've gotten a lot better at making the adjustment based on the queue I've been playing or the queue I'm playing with. So it just really depends on what the player is used to playing with. I know what types of shots I can shoot and cannot shoot. And my shot repertoire is limited with the house queue. But there's many shots that I would say I have similar, if not the same consistency with, with a house cue. But those are minimal spin shots. You know what I mean? I think, I think house cues actually hit pretty well. Yeah, they do. I mean, they're, yeah, as long as you understand backhand English and deflection and all that stuff, it's like, you know, you can do some cool stuff with them. But I just prefer not having to adjust based on the distance of the cue ball from the object ball adjust based on the bridge length i don't i don't like having to do all that stuff with a with a low deflection cue every shot is aimed the same mm. essentially like almost the same yeah oh yeah yeah it's me i know <laughs> don't wait don't buy into colin's bs i know who said that um, who said that? Uh, okay. Right. Go home, Tin Can Corner. Rance, you better get out here, or at least put Chris in a bad spot. This is, uh, this is negotiable for yeah. Rance. I mean, the four balls laying in a good spot here. Where the you can get on the six. six. Six balls, the one. You can get on the six from the four here pretty, you, you, you pretty can. easily. You, 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 you can, but it's. I like this angle. You can move the nine. I like the angle. Like he overhit that by a country mile, but yeah. 
I like the angle. Whoa, spinach. Yeah. Too much Popeye on that one. Great shot. Great shot. That was not calculated. I think I'm going to be heading out of here after this set. Yep, yep. Where are you going? Let's see. I'll probably watch that for a bit, actually. Yeah. Interesting action here. I wonder what the game count is. <laughs> One to zero, so whoever was up is not up as much. Guys, I'm just testing this out. Give me a second. I want to test something out here. Size of pockets on the table are uh, four and a half. Got to test out the chat box. Make sure everything looks good. I'll probably go something like this, actually, if I go. Yeah, Rance is struggling now. The beginning of the set, I liked the way he was. Um, going through the ball doesn't look the same. It'll probably be something like this, I think. That size is decent, right? Like with the text, maybe the box is just a hair too big. Yeah, ooh, look at, look at, look at, look at here. Nice Probably shot. do something like that. That's good. Yeah, that's good. I like it. Yeah. But Leave it. But it's touching the table. Leave it. Don't touch it. No, 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 no. I like this bank. The chat box at the U.S. Open will not be up 100% of the time. Only during uh, times of heated discussion with the chat, you know, when it gets very interactive. Ooh. Big bounce. Big. Dang it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Ken. I, I, after I adjusted it, it looked better, right, Ken? It was almost as big as it is here. So, Happy Friday, what's M. What's going on, M? Here it is. Shot for the match. Can he put it down? Ooh, a lot of movement here. There you go. Chris Sanchez sweeping it, basically. I mean, it wasn't even a contest. Played good. Rance struggled. Like I said, at the beginning of the set, he actually wasn't playing bad. Yeah. Agreed. All right. Have fun, sir. Check, 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 check out. Check, 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 check out reality. Don't do that, Danny. Danny, when you go back and watch this, don't do that. Just walk by him. You stopping is worse. That kills me when someone's walking by my shot and then they go, ooh. Like they're all scared they're going to distract me. Well, that distracted me. You going, ooh. Kills me, dude. Rolando's like playing with ice in his veins right now, though. And Brian Borja is feeling it. So then we got action down here. John Francisco and Rudy getting in some 10 ball action. Interesting. I think that Rudy's probably the favorite in that game. But it's close enough. Definitely close enough. Oh, that was brutal. That was brutal. That was brutal. Brutal doodle. Why couldn't I play the way I was playing against Travis That's that's pool, dude. 
Welcome to the game. It's okay. We'll get it back later. Okay. Who are you playing? Uh, I'll either play Travis again or I'll play Mac and Davis again. Nice. It's one thing I love about you, man. You're always in action. Yeah, it's only 200. Here's more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, tell that to Miranda. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Miranda, we love you. She knows. I know she knows. <laughs> Bobby Jan, Danny. I have a phantom. I have a 500 losing limit for the month. If I'm winning, I can gamble as much as I want. <laughs> right, 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 right. Let's see. So then we got to turn on the ball count. Sorry, Davis. I let you down. <laughs> now it's up to Danny. Oh wow, Francis taking the they both took the sweater off. They're like it's getting it's getting hot in here. We got to take this seriously. They continuing from from earlier, yeah. Earlier? Okay. Looks like a one game difference over there. Are you posting? 400 posted, race to 7. And you are getting 9 to 7, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you guys play one pocket. So the way I'm going to show that is I'm going to put him at negative one and put you at one every game. But no, that doesn't that doesn't matter because he's gonna he doesn't he doesn't spot a ball. Hi, mom. I just want to try to make it as easy as possible on the ground. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Good luck, sir. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I told him to come up here and get paid. I don't know where he went. That's right here. He forfeits. <laughs> yeah, here you go, Rance. <laughs> How would you guys do it in the chat? What do you think? I guess I just make him go to nine and seven. Danny broke 400. I think he's at like a 405 or 410 right now. I think he's like 417. Is he? 420. No, he might be a 430. 409. 409, oh. And Bobby's a 510 or something, right? Uh, let's see. 509. It's a 100-point difference, but neither of these guys... So here's the interesting thing about this game, guys. Danny is brand new to the game of One Pocket, and Bobby doesn't really play it much at all. Ever. Bobby likes banking the ball when he plays rotation, but that's about it. So... This game will not be One Pocket. <laughs> I mean, those, it'll, they'll be playing by the rules of one pocket, but if you're a one pocket player, you are not about to watch what you would expect to be one pocket. It'll be interesting to see how both these guys decide to move and just, you know what they both decide to shoot at, what their execution rate is on those shots. Danny's been uh, playing very aggressively. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure he would. And Bobby would, I would assume, play fairly aggressively too. Is the 10 ball going to get there? Look at this lag. Wow. Wow. That is really Bobby close. got it. Bobby Gotti. I hate that so much. I've been shooting so good all week and then I came out here and did that. <laughs> the most exciting one puck ever. Strap in to your seats. It's going to be a wild one. <laughs> when the balls go up table, I'd imagine they're going to be selling out. I mean, there's going to be a lot of selling out in this game. And the person who wins will probably be the person who makes two or three on each sellout. 
instead of one. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Chris. So Bobby's got to get nine balls. Uh, Phantom's got to get seven. One hundred percent not going up table. I mean, there will balls will go up table when they play safe, but it's just when they start moving them back down table, they're going to start selling out a lot. I would assume it's tough to move with balls up table uh, while you're trying to be aggressive, uh, unless you play the game a lot. Let's see how Bobby breaks. Looks like he's going for the. Oh, yeah. what's their race? Oh, they're racing it. Sorry. They're racing to three, guys. Race to three. It looks like first shot. Bobby sells out a ball on the break. There's no future after it, but a ball is a ball is a ball. And it's much better to be going to six than it is to be going to seven. Yeah, Chris. Yeah, we're going to three. I mean, you got to think he's going for the up and down, right? Looks like it. No, he just misses the ball and sells out. Now this shot into two-thirds of a pocket from Bobby Jan. Bobby's got a little bit of chicken wing action that he's well aware of. Is that 15-14 go off the seven? No. No? No, the four's in the way. Oh, well, I know, but into the four. No. You can't tell. Four no, it goes into the long run. But he, he'll be shooting at the eight here, but I'd put Bobby at about... 65% to make this ball. Which means he misses it quite a bit with the small pocket. And when he does miss it, it's real bad for him. Especially first shot in the match. See what I mean? Mm. Now, I mean... You don't have to play the combo here. You could get rid of the eight. He's going to shoot this into the stack. You could get rid of the eight. Uh, it's not easy to get rid of the eight, though, actually, because you're straight in on a double kiss. So the combo's not terrible. Even if you sell out the eight ball, the rest of the balls are all tied up right here in front of Bobby's hole. So it's like it's not like Bobby's going to get a bunch of balls. Bobby will probably be able to make the eight. Yeah, he missed the whole ball. Missed it. I was going to say he'll probably be able to make the eight, eight and then uh, play one of these bank shots here. Yeah. But uh, neither of the banks really go now. That's what I was looking at, Scott. Bobby, if I'm you, I'm making this eight, and then I'm making his, his stripe in the hole. I'm not getting greedy here. Interesting choice to punch forward there instead of just roll it. I think you could get more control just rolling it, but I don't think you need to go for this bank. Yeah, I think he's bank making combo? the ball. No, he's making he's making the ball. Oh. That's a good shot. There you go. Yeah, because now anything that Danny shoots at here, the odds that he makes it are pretty low anyway, and then then. If he goes offensive, it's easy to sell out. So Danny should just thin the six ball. Look at this. Thin the six ball. Send the cue ball here into the back of these balls. Off the See this? He leaves a bank. Yeah. He, he's got – doing this, he's got a lot of odds to leave a bank where he could have thinned the six, moved it up the, in this direction, which takes this bank out of play. Mm. And then he could have followed the ball two rails into this catcher's mitt right here and then put Bobby in a real bad spot right there. 
But instead, Bobby gets a free nice bank shot. and hits it really got good. Five and the one. So Bobby's got two now. Sorry, I haven't been keeping up on the score. Bobby's going to nine. Uh, if you can see the one here, I like going at the one. But if you can't see it, it's the five's the shot. Nice shot, Bobby. And now I just like opening up the stack. You got too much traffic on your side. So I like to try to find a shot here that's going to open up the stack towards my hole a little bit and, and put the cue ball in a relatively safe space. Unless he can see the four. He's winding up like he can see something. No, he couldn't see anything. Well, that works. <laughs> he essentially did what I was talking about, but he did it on accident. Is that ball dead? I don't think it's dead. Ooh, it might be dead. No, it's not dead because you can't get to it. There's a gap between the 12 and the 9. So if you're shooting at it from the 2, it doesn't go. If you play the 7 off of the 14, the 12, the, the 9 goes to the short rail. But you might be able to play the 7 off the 14 and leave the cue ball near the 4. Maybe? I don't know. See what he does. He just gets rid of the 4. This is the right shot. Just get rid of it. Don't want it coming back down in your opponent's hole. But Danny has one as well. Oh, yeah, that's right. Bobby made one for Danny. Thank you, guys. One pocket scoring mode engage. <laughs> Looks like Bobby has to go get a drink real quick or something. These three tables, four tables right now, action. You know this has got to be a decent sized set right here. John's got some gamble in him. Rolando and Brian probably playing for something relatively cheap. These guys, still a one game spread. Oh, it's Oscar hitting balls? Oscar's playing something. In. Oh, let's go. What did we get here for? Come on, Moritz. You don't need that elbow. Hold on, guys. My favorite person is calling. I'll be right back. <laughs> Tell her hi. Careful of the beer. Yep. Ooh, ooh. I'm gonna wait for him to get back in here. I'm not pushing any buttons on this. I don't know how to get back to the main table. It's coming back. Collins had to step out really quick and I don't know how to work his system. So we got Oscar on screen really quick. Bobby had to go get a drink, so he took it off the screen. <laughs> I enjoy living. I do not want to get stabbed by Collins tonight. I've been playing on and off since I was a kid. Uh, my family owned a rest stop out by Cash Creek Casino, and we had a table in there, but I didn't start taking it seriously until a couple years ago when my dad passed away. Got my ups and downs. Before that match tonight, man, I was shooting really great, and then just something kicked in, and I just went the total opposite way, and I got in my own head and gave up.
That'd be nice, big queen. You jinxed me, big queen. You should have said you had me tonight. Let's see if I can get an update on this table real quick. Looks like it is three to one on Bobby versus Phantom. Bobby's up three balls. Still where we left off on the screen. Danny just made the nine ball, two, three now. Big Queen, he's got presets on here, right? So if I move the camera manually, it will go back. He can just push a button, it will go back. I'm going to do it. Colin's going to yell at me, but it's okay. It's the wrong camera, but we're going to work with it. All right. That's as good as we're going to get for right now. Appreciate you guys. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I got in my own head. Uh, literally an hour before this match started, I was in a race to six with somebody as equally as good as him, and I won six to two. And I'm not consistent as I should be. And I think those uh, scratches from the brakes too got in my head. So I wasn't feeling it. It's all right though. I didn't know the preset, so I just moved the camera back. All right. Uh, Danny's got two now. Bobby's still at three. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, I ended up staying on the roster that I was. It was uh, we were trying to let somebody come back onto the team uh, that was going to cities. Um, so I'm still playing on that team, still on there. So things are good. Still get to play regionals next month. Haha, <laughs> I touched it, big queen. Have a good night, Edie. Okay, Danny's got. Did that ball get tied up? There's no chance, right? No, 14 goes. Danny should be able to get three here. Or actually, Danny, here's what you want to do here. Even after this shot, you want to just roll forward two rails, get out to here. Yes, and then remove this ball. Eliminate a threat. I, if you're a solid one pocket player, you can remove the threat and nudge. You can do it twice. And yeah. you can nudge this ball up here. But I wouldn't. Uh, 
the angle here lays okay for that shot, but I think you might. There's a chance you could skip off the bottom of this 15 ball here if you don't make the 13. Let's see what happens. Hopefully, he, for his sake, he's going flat into the face of the ball. I wonder if he slow rolls the bank and tries to bring the bank the 15 too. No, he's going forward with it. Yeah, he went Got into it. the face of it. Wow, he made the ball. Ooh, ooh. ooh maybe not. It's all right. It's going to put a lot of pressure on Bobby here. That was a good shot. Look at him putting him right up underneath the 10. Wow. I appreciate you guys. You guys are so sweet. Four ball can go clean from here, mm -hmm. but you sell out the three. for sure and honestly with all this traffic Danny see how the traffic this way mm -hmm. the odds that you sell out a ball here is really low there's nothing wrong with crossing this ball if the cross doesn't double kiss bank it send the cue ball ooh there's a kiss I think there's a kiss here Oh, he hit it on the wrong side. It's actually kind of spooky. I feel like both the players are listening to me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, they both have headphones in, right? Yeah. <laughs> but you see all the free space up here, right, for, for Danny? Let's the thing see. the thing about the free space... Oh, the two ball might go here, actually. Bobby, does the two go? Two. Back up. If the two goes. The other thing about being in Danny's position there when leaving the cue ball up here, if Bobby can just move one of these balls out and not sell anything out, all of a sudden it, it takes a lot of freedoms away for Danny. Whew, pardon me, guys. I'm right there with you. <laughs> well, I just took a Claritin and I took a Zyrtec this morning. Oh, damn. Allergies. Well, the problem is when you double down, you get drowsy. <clears throat> Even with the non drowsy stuff. Yeah, two row that 15 for 10 ball. Oh, he's putting it back up. Yeah. Ooh. I'll be right on the rail almost.
<coughs> Who has a ball that I don't know of? Oh, there's a ball in the hole. I, I didn't see the four ball hanging in the hole. Hey, does anybody know who's up in the Johnny Archer Josh Roberts match? I see the score is 15 to 7. Who's up? Oh my gosh, Johnny Archer's wearing his USA flag shirt. America. Captain America. Who said we weren't going to have an up table game? <laughs> Roberts, 15 7. Yeah. You should see some of the messages that I sent people when they told me about that message. <laughs> like, I'm not going to say it out loud, but. <laughs> nice Bank shot. and Bobby Jan, 5 to 5. Cross that 15, baby. Cross it. Do it with the 12 too. 12, I think, goes. I like the cross first. God. A little long. In a good way. Does anyone know what they're playing for over there? Johnny Archer and Josh Roberts. Nice shot. He needs one ball, folks. Go to the casino, you know? <laughs> right. <laughs> you got a better chance at winning money at the casino. Ooh, that is brutal off the point. Let's see if he can continue his... Uh Cutting percentage right here. He was shooting these before the match started, and he'd made like six out of eight of them. Jacked up over a ball? Yeah. I don't think so. He got... Nope. Nope. Left him a bang. This bank back. goes. Yep. The three ball bank goes. Mike Myers, I thought that on the flyer it said that the the wager was disclosed. Let me check that. Just missed it. Let me check that.
Yeah, it says right here. Guys. It says right here. The entry was disclosed. If they disclosed the entry, what is it? I like that a lot because so many times like Danny I, I honestly wouldn't even mess with it Danny honestly don't even mess with it just send it back up just send it straight at those balls you know what I mean mm -hmm. just cue ball bam bam and don't look up at the screen while I'm talking about it. <laughs> yeah, he's going for it. Just get rid of the ball. Don't bank it. Ugh. Banking it that way is decent the way it turned out, actually, to tie everything up up there. Mm -hmm. But it's pretty low percentage to get everything tied up where... I would think if you play it like this, right, and the cue ball goes down here, you're going to leave worse shots. Chris, I do not know. Notice this from how common this is in a lot of players. The that photo? No, the shoulder. Oh, when it shoots out, like the shoulder. Like this. I'm trying to think of how mine is now. He's been finding that point. You can do it. You can do it. He needs one. Can he get it safe, though? Too real. No, he can't. Oh no, is, is my sound on for that other stream? Okay, good, it wasn't. <laughs> I like the four ball here. I like the four ball. Just getting it close is good. Or Nailed make it. it. Or make Nailed it, Bobby. It. Let's go, Bobby. This 
play safe. Then off of the uh, left side of the 12 and put the cue ball on the right side of the table. Uh, this gives a free bank on the 10 to win the game. Where the other option just moves the 12 up this way, like banks it off the rail and like puts it here, and then the cue ball ends up over here, and it's like, what's he going to shoot at? The other option there is to, that's equally as good, if not better, is to, to send the 10 off this rail and back over here, and then send the cue ball like this off hmm. the side of the 10 was the other option in that spot. Uh, if you can place the 10 in a really good banking spot, it's a really good shot. You might be able to, uh, if the 10 doesn't bank... The 10 doesn't bank from here. The, the side pocket's in the way. And you're jacked up over the 12. You're, you're asking to lose the game right here. S funny things can happen with the jaw of the pocket. Or just selling out an easy bank. Yeah, you're just begging to lose the game right there. Just because the side pocket was so huge. 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 I am the chosen one. <laughs> Someone had to do it. Somebody's got to do it. I am the chosen one. It's like my favorite meme. <laughs> See the DJ that did the uh, Kamala Harris? Yeah. Uh, don't come. And I'm yeah, going to yeah. come. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Dude, Ben, I can't wait. It's going to be a good time. Z shot. Let's go. It's going to come up and Ooh. lay up for a bank. It's a kissy bank. I think it's. I think you gotta stiff it or you kiss it. Stiff it or you kiss it. Don't stiff it and kiss it. Woo. Thump it in there, buddy. Yeah, it goes long every time there, and you leave a you leave a cross here. This cross bank goes. There's no kiss here. It feels like there's a kiss sometimes when you're down on the ball and you're new to these banks. But it's just a pure cross. You got to hit it thicker than it feels like you have to hit it, but you're not going to kiss it. Cue ball gets out of the way nicely. No, he tried to stiff it in the hole. It doesn't, it doesn't go that way. Jerry Johnson shoots that shot like a goddamn maniac, like so good. He never, he almost never misses that bang against me. He almost hit me with his car on the way in. <laughs> Did he really? <laughs> <Yeah>. Wow. <laughs> I love that guy. Real, Look real at that little back cut. Close Ooh. shot. Yeah, no, the cue ball doesn't cover the 10. Hey, Shannon, thanks for the shout out. Yeah, don't forget, don't forget to click that thumbs up on YouTube, guys. What's going on? A little discussion. A little discussion between the players here. Wiping a, wiping a little sweat off the brow. This shot, everything on this shot is the speed of the object ball. It's everything, because the cue ball is going to clear out to the point where you don't really see how hard he hit it. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, he hit it with outside spin, too. Dang. Dang. There was no kiss there with a the natural path. If this 10 ball clears out, I like the... Especially if it sits mm. in the side pocket. Crossing this, uh, this ball up table. This is another one where if he accidentally puts outside spin, he'll he'll come back and hit it. He has a chance to kiss it, yeah. Because the 12 ball is going to be moving so slow. He did it again. He put outside spin on the ball. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. One of your banks are going to go in, Danny. Just, I mean, the 12's laying real nice. Stop the rock. Like, stun. You know what I mean? Stun the cue ball to here. 
real slow. Again, just play the speed of the object ball like this. Because this is kind of similar where when you play the speed on the object ball on that shot, you leave a kiss, mm -hmm. right? I think Bobby can cut this with outside spin, send the cue ball this way and, and miss the kiss. What up, champ? Yo. Oh. <laughs> I have money for you. Okay. Congrats. Hold on it back. Keep shooting. <laughs> That's right, Shannon. In the chat. You want to get your Don't Be a Nip t-shirt. Nice. Check it out at postupmerch.com. Throw on a Don't Be a Knit t-shirt for when you go to the BCA PL event out in Vegas next these next few weeks. Have them ship it to the Rio. You know, it'll show up there. It takes about a week to a week and a half to get the shirt. Two weeks, depending on uh, how busy the printer, the printing agency is at the time. Gonna go long all day, every day. Just send it up to your banking lane, dude. Just send it right up here. You don't want to put it here. You put it here, all of a sudden the 10's in play. Just send it right here. Whoa. Tried to lose the game. I think you try to do what I did earlier right there. <laughs> it's kind of one of those things about one pocket that I, I enjoy a lot about the game. It's like trying to outthink your, po your opponent in that way where you're like, okay, I'm, I'm playing safe here, but I'm also leaving it where if he doesn't do something about it, it's a problem. Mm. Ooh. Bobby is back in the game here. Ooh. We're down to the last ball. <laughs> and honestly, leave him the kiss shot. So cut it in, cut it in, go out here, right, with the cue ball. Then just make the 10 and leave the cue ball right here. Then it's going to spot up, and there's not much you can do from there. Good players would do a lot of things with that shot, but not, I mean, let's be honest, Danny, Danny, <laughs> you're a good guy. But you're no Francis. See, this is no good. This is no good. What's it gonna do? We left a two railer. I think this is a stop your rock two railer. Cause it's gonna lengthen out off the second rail cause the first rail is gonna add a bunch of spin to the ball. Yeah, he hit it a little hard. How much do you got to bet to not be a nip? It's all relative, Shannon. It's all relative. Asking for a friend.
Oh boy, this is a bank that Bobby's pretty good at. And oh, uh, no, it's eight to six. Thank you. This is a. Think that Bobby's pretty good at, and Bobby's cue ball is going to end up in a good spot if the ball doesn't go. Don't want to scratch. Got it. Ooh. Ooh. There it is. Bobby's stealing that game. Danny had it in his hands the whole way, and Bobby stole it. 1 0. Well, first game tells you it looks like the spot's pretty good. I mean, obviously, it varies game to game, but first game went down to the last ball. That's always a good sign. Uh, Christopher. I don't know which Christopher this is. Let's find out. Oh, Chris Atkins. Yes. Unless you're the guy. <laughs> unless you're the guy that is always like. Yeah, no, I want to play. Let's play for some money. Yeah, yeah, it'll be great. And then you're like, let's play five a game, one pocket. You know, that's... There's no problem with that if you're, like, being friendly, like, with friends. You know what I mean? But if someone's looking for action... If someone's looking for action in, like, a gamble, and you're like, yeah, I'll play you. And they're like, well, let's play, like, 20 a game. Oh, well, I was thinking, like, five a game. That's a little nitty. I was hoping to play 50 a game. Yeah, I really... Uh, I never play more than 10 a game. It's a little nitty. Find someone that wants to play 10 a game with you. So it's, it's relative. It depends on the situation. People at G Street and Davis started doing that with me too. Because usually we play one game for 20 out there. Uh -huh. We call them honey boo boos. And then we got a couple of people now who don't like to play for 20s anymore. So we'll be having a few people that are, you know, we'll well, circulating 20. Yeah, they'll, they'll win. Oh. <clears throat> but they do it to get in our heads because they're just like, no, let's do like five or 10. And then we're like, well, we're, we're all playing 20s. Mm -hmm. And then. We don't care about five or ten bucks. We want the bigger game, so we'll wait until we get back into the bigger matches. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, if you're poor, you shouldn't be gambling. You shouldn't be playing money games. But like I said, it's all relative, so... Maybe that's in the budget. Maybe five a game is in the budget. I get it. Hey, Christopher Knowles. Grabbing that coffee mug. Or poor. Yep, that's right, JR. And grabbing that post-up super fan. Self-proclaimed super fan, Christopher Knowles. Yeah, I do. The Shopify store sends me updates, yeah.
Nice, Chris. ball off the stack though look at look at the spread look at the spread this game uh, the way the stack sits favors Danny but the way the balls sit favors Bobby and what I mean by that is the way the balls are spread out on the table obviously Bobby's got more going on but look at the spread of the stack and how they're all passable Pass onto this side of the table So even though the, it looks like the table favors Bobby, well, obviously not anymore. I would say that it's actually about a dead even table. I'm just gonna shoot this two ball again. What's up, Scott C? I like the using the nine seven to open up this traffic. The nine seven looks like it's pointed at that traffic. This is a problem for Bobby. You need to do something about that problem to advance your position. It does a lot of bad things for you where these balls are sitting all tied up. If even if you get an open shot, all of a sudden it gets difficult to run balls. So I like using the nine seven to open up. Six four wired. Oh, no. no, it wasn't. It wasn't dead. And look, and look at this. Hold on, pocket. It's greedy. It's greedy, and, and it's like, yeah, you want to you want to feel like you're moving the game forward and getting some momentum, but you can get the same amount of momentum out of, you know, open these up, right. send the seven into here, get these balls kind of spread open a little bit more so that you have opportunities to run balls later. Where's the cue ball going? Straight into the 13. Greedy here, just bang for 12. I guess the stripe on the rail passes, and you could get position on the 15. I take it back. The 14 over there passes. You can get position on the 7 or 15. What are you doing here? I'm going for the 8 combo. What are you doing here? What are you doing? Showing up the 12 ball. Showing out. Oh, you can get on the other you side. You gotta of the pick stack the free shots. You gotta pick the free shots. Get the chalk off the table, Danny.
Neither of them see it. Two ball spots. Got to get rid of the pressure, Danny. You can't be shooting here. 14 safe. Any safe way to get rid of him? No, 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 Danny. Don't do it, man. Eee. Yowza. That's the chicken wing, Bobby. If you never get rid of the chicken wing, you'll never be able to consistently make straight in shots. And what I mean by that is you'll have good days where you make them all the time, and you'll have bad days where you miss them half the time. Yeah, down oh, down Danny. Down to one. Yeah. yeah, thank you. This is no good. Same time. No, this is no good because the one's gonna, the one's gonna move right in front of Bobby's hole. Yeah, this is good. No, this is not good. Though. By the way, for our Friday night tournament, guys, look at the turnout. There's a lot of people here. I think there was one buy, two buys. Uh, three. Three, four, yeah, five. five. So, five buys. 29 players? No, five. Pardon me. Uh, 27 players? He just walked away dusting his shoulder off. You guys didn't see it, but he walked away like this. Whoa. What's up, Limestone Legend? Is that what it was? Limestone.
right, we're missing a ball. There's two. Oh, it's uh, two. Got two. Yep. Thank you, thank you. Perry Little, hello from Japan. I like the little JP like that. What's up, JJ? See you next week. What up, JJ? Sorry I didn't answer your call. I was too busy getting whooped. All right, later, Chris. Middle of the day in Japan. Holy crap. This game's going up the table. This is going to be a long game, folks. Uh, see what you did there, JJ. A real grubs match. Grudge. Did you get your stroke back from last week?
Danny, I swear to God, if you kick at this ball. I think he's going to try to put it up next to the 14. Nope, he's kicking it. Uh. <laughs> Hey. No, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care that it turned out good this time. It's the other 99 times. Sorry, yeah. Looked purple for a second. <laughs> it, is it was purple. It was purple. I'm thinking of, oh gosh. It was green. purple forever. Green and purple are not the same. I know that. <laughs> I was thinking purple four. <laughs> there you go. You had me worried, man. I didn't want to see you take a, a break. I like seeing you on the table. Danny, as unfun as it is, you have to drive the wedge here. You just got to drive the wedge off the side of the 14. Nope. That's why you don't go offensive. Don't get fancy here. Just draw the ball off the two. Just make the ball or shoot it at your hole. Nice, soft, smooth draw stroke. You'll miss the 15. You won't leave a shot because the cue ball will come back to the middle of the table. I don't like running into it. Okay, that's good. Like, come on, we can figure out a game. show to do tonight yeah. where at froggies what time 10 10 o'clock where's froggies davis downtown okay. there you go and pick up the kiddos in the morning uh. Just drive the wedge, Danny. Just drive the wedge. Not with that ball, though. I wouldn't have done it with that ball. That ball was good for you, Danny. You just removed one of your soldiers. And now, Bobby, because you moved that ball, Bobby can bank the one.
I don't like doing that, what he just did there. At that speed. <clears throat> because then you're just kind of gambling how the balls are going to pop out up there, you know? Like, I think Danny has a big has 14 ball. It's close to a kiss, though. It's probably not worth shooting at. Some rumblings of possibly Adrian Prasad getting in action tomorrow. We're at here. Here. A fairly decent sized set. Who's he playing? Oh, yeah, he's a good kid. Yeah. See, see the speed of the eight ball there, Danny? Because of the speed of the eight ball, you give Bobby all the freedom. You got to play all object ball speed. Put some pressure. Leave it in your hole. This is never, this is almost never turning out well. Yikes. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you, too. Thanks for playing, buddy. Definitely. Have a good night, everybody. Catch you next time. Uh, probably streaming better. He's playing in a nine-ball tournament somewhere. You got to come out to Davis one of these days for our Sunday tournament. Oh, yeah, yeah. That'd be fun. Yo, Brian Stone, doing good. A little tired. I, I've got the camera off because I can't stop yawning. I took two different types of antihistamines because I've been dealing with some weird allergy. I don't know what's bothering me. But, uh, yeah, I don't want to make you guys watch me yawn. Michael Stillwell, what's going on?
like a little player break here. Pretty good bank right there. Look at this. Two ball passes, I think. Kiss, yeah. It's always going to be a kiss. Danny Phantom.
What did I do? I hit the wrong button. Sorry about that. And just like that, it's gone.
Sorry, I've been uh, sending a few messages on the side. I've, I've kind of lost track of the game. I'll get back in it here. Looks like it's four to two. like it's four to two and Danny's got a shot I think you got to go here maybe not maybe not if you're Danny because you, you if you're struggling to make balls you can't be shooting at that Bobby's gonna get at least the eight ball here I like shooting this ball with pure left so that even if I hit the nine if I drift into the rail, the, the left spin will take me away from the 15 ball instead of going towards it. Not Yeah, that's pretty good, actually. That's pretty good. Nice shot. He's got five here. Should get six, maybe even get up to the 14 ball. I'd, I'd be going after the 14 ball next. Double kiss turns out good for Bobby Jan. Danny Phantom can't take this ball out. Danny cannot get this ball out. He's just got to make the ball. Don't even try it, buddy. Don't even try it. Don't even look at it. Don't even try to find out if you can take it out because you can't. Just make the ball. Ooh, and he miscued. Imagine he made the nine ball right there. <laughs> Imagine if he made the nine right there. How sick would you be if you're Bobby? Yeah, bank the nine right now. You got a big pocket. Yeah, I like this. You can even stun up to the one ball here. Ooh, be, oh my god, he missed the whole 15. How unlucky. Frankie Ridgeway, you're an absolute legend. Thank you, buddy. Yes, he did. I'm I'm just looking at the balls in his tray. So, uh, whatever the score is right now, he's it's uh, how many balls he has in his tray. Danny, you got to get rid of this 15 ball, buddy. You can't be shooting at this nine. You get nothing out of making this nine. You get one ball. And you're risking three. Oh my god, imagine he covers the nine! 
And it's still tough to get the 15 out of here. Without fouling. It's tough to not foul here and get the 15 out. You want me to watch a hit? Ooh, that might have been good. I think it was good. I think it was good. Le John, John, if Archer just lost 21 to 12, that means that Johnny Archer is effectively playing at about a 680 Fargo, 690 Fargo. How did he make a good hit there? Look at this hit, guys. Ooh, it might have been a foul. Guys, it might have been a foul. Ooh. I might have made a bad call there, guys. I feel bad. That might have been a foul. I can't tell. It looks like a good hit. That is, that is crazy. I don't. I can't tell. I honestly can't tell, guys. Josh Roberts is like a seven eighty Fargo, so. If you can't tell, then it isn't a foul. Danny D, it might have gone forward just so slow that it was tough to tell. But it looks good. Look good to me. Uh, good enough for me to call it good. I'll call it good. Sell out and a half. Oh, I think he got away with it. I think it's kissy.
Oh, crap. My mic was muted, guys. I'm so sorry. I've been talking. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that, guys. Probably about 10 minutes, my mic has been muted. It's been a while since I've done that. Bobby getting so close on this bank. Leaves a shot. Sorry, guys. That's... Yeah, yikes. No, I actually feel better now. I've been talking a lot. Like, I'm serious, guys. I mean... <laughs> the last 10 minutes, I've been feeling really good, so I've been talking a lot. Which is ironic, obviously, because the mic was off. But it's been a very interesting fight over these two balls. Oh, by the way, Danny has six here, going seven. Bobby keeps getting all these free shots at the last ball, and it's just not getting there. Now, Danny can't take this ball out. He's on the rail. You can't take it out, Danny. You can try to double kiss it out with high karate, but it is so difficult to get this ball out. Just follow it in. Ooh, and that's going to put Bobby on the hill. Dang, dude. Bobby will take it, I'm sure. That's a really interesting spot here, guys, that at 9-7, both games so far have gone to the last ball. Oh, the Whistler. Damn, he's always dressed to impress. You got Rob Haymaker Henson in here. <laughs> I can only imagine what he's saying. No, bro, I was down there. You should have seen what I was doing, bro. I was down there. I was like hitting balls with the guys. You should have seen it. No, really, I, I did it, bro. Checking that rack. Checking that stack. So how did Oscar's match go? I think they were just hitting balls around. I don't think they played for anything yet. No, Fred, that, that particular shot from where his cue ball was and the fact that he couldn't access the bottom of the cue ball, I mean... You, you could set that ball up a hundred times and get it out like twice. Unless you're Tony Chohan. And it was specifically because, like, looking from here, that ball was almost in the jaws on the left side of the pocket right here. And, and his cue ball's right here. It's already in double kiss territory. So most of the time when you double kiss it off of this side of the ball, off of this side of the ball, it, uh, it double kisses and lays in front of the hole or goes in. So it's like, yeah. But it being off to the left side of the pocket also makes it a little tougher to follow the ball in, but... Yeah, it is what it is. Oh, I gotta go take a leak, guys. I'll be back.
No, I stepped out of the booth, Shannon. Danny's yeah, hitting the ball pretty good in this little run here. Is this 12 pass? It's close. It might go. So Bobby's got three here, huh? Whoops. Thank you, Shannon. No way. Honestly, I'm up in the set. I might cut at this 15 ball. I might shoot at that 15 ball. Denny needs one, guys. Going on, Corey. I got the sniffles again. I can't stop sneezing. Yeah, let's get 11 more likes, guys. Let's hit that hundo. Hundred and twenty four you watching, I believe. I believe. Where's Corey been? Slacking. Got a game, guys. Danny got a game. No skunk tonight.
You know what I hear about Stacy's mom, Corey? Oh, snap. This I want to see. When this is the rail, <laughs> you know it's a fun game. Nice break. Nice break. Decent. I mean, actually, it's not that great because of the 11 balls. Free to take out. You two rail the 11 into the 15 right here. Watch what happens. You do this at speed, okay? Two rail the 11 into the 15. It sends the 15 this way, and then the 11 ball goes into the stack, opening up the balls to your side. Like that. Ooh, you lost the cue ball. The other thing that can happen there is if the 11 comes up underneath the 15, the 11 is going this way towards the hole. Jennifer Rabbit! Danny Phantom's looking real comfortable, guys. Real comfortable. This is one of them shots. Just stop the rock in the stack. Right? He's reading the stack right now to find out where to stop the rock. S stop the rock on the three ball. Stop the rock on the three. Just boom. Dead right there. The three moves this way a little bit. Just stop right in there. Oh, he can't stop. He's near the rail. Ooh, that's good too. Real good control there. Smart shot, Danny. He read the stack really well right there. That was a great shot. That shot right there would never have happened if Danny hadn't spent the entire last week and a half playing one pocket. Oh, Bobby scratched. Unlucky. The O's one. O's one going to nine. So we're, we're playing 10-6 from here, folks. I mean, Bobby, that's just one of those spots where if you don't know 110% that you're making that ball, you never shoot it. You got to do something about the two ball. Even if it means comboing it with the eight. And he got pretty fortunate here that he didn't have, or he might have absolutely nothing here. Four ball might go. Maybe not. See, this this game right here is how I thought this whole set was going to go. Honestly. I thought the whole set was going to be like, you know, f fighting over who sells out more and who can get two or three. 
I had no idea that the first three games were all going to be moving battles. Just punched it way too hard. How many tables does Hard Times have total? Evan, we're going to take you on a quick tour just since you asked. This is our tournament room. We have eight diamond blue label tables back here with plenty of gallery seating. Those are the six along the main uh, line of tables. And then we've got our tournament board over here. And two other diamond tables right here. That's just the tournament room, okay? Out front, look at this crap. Look at this. Here, this is unbelievable. We have two more diamond tables in our action pit. These tables are dedicated to big action during our large tournaments. And then we have all these gold crowns out here. And one more diamond. In total, we have 39 foot tables. 39-foot tables, a Carson City Carl, a Grubs, a Daisy, and Jackie's here somewhere too. There he is. He's wearing the hard time shirt. It's a great room, guys. You lose so many frames during room pans. Interesting. I'll have to watch it back. it looked pretty good. <laughs> All right. Three to one's the, the ball count, guys, in favor of Senor Phantom.
big spot for Bobby here. I mean, I, I like using the eight to move balls and sending the cue ball up near the three. Right there, Bobby, if you watch it back. I like sending the eight into these balls to start moving things out this way and then send the cue ball up here. You got a big target. Like, you have a target this big to land the cue ball in. That's good. And you start creating soldiers, maybe, depending on how much movement you get out of the eight. But in that shot, I think it's, it's effective. Well, it turned out to be pretty effective what you did. You got a free shot. Free-ish. I mean, you got to make the ball. Snooker, what's up? Oh, yeah, I've heard about Cube Masters, Evan. I've heard about Cube Masters. We don't have anything nearly that big out here in this direction, but I'd say... Well, for... Yeah, I mean, this is the nuts. This room is the nuts. I love it here. I like that. I like that. It sends them up table, which, you know, I'm typically not a fan of, but really effective in, in reducing the pressure. Oops, Bobby got a ball. Ooh, Jacob... Jacob, you gotta watch it, and you gotta you gotta stick around for the post match interview too. You that was a yeah, interesting one to say the least. He sold out again. He's just trying to throw the match away. He's just trying to give up the match. I like just pocketing this ball. Maybe stun shot. Maybe stun run through. Or follow the ball and then bank the 14. Actually, follow the ball and bank the 13. Right? This is the shot. Make it. Follow the ball to here. That way you can bank the 13. He overdrew or he overrolled the cue ball, right? So now this is no good. But but you see, if the cue ball's here, you bank the 13 and follow the cue ball to here for free. Right? But now he's banking the 14. It's not free. Yeah, yeah, he hit it real thick, so he didn't lose the cue ball. Doesn't really advance his position, but still, he made a good shot on the four. Gets the game tied up at three to three. And, and yeah, really a lot better than the last game for Bobby, the way this game is going. What's up, Stebs Duarte? Actually, Snooker, there wasn't a lot of cue chalking going on in that match because it was on a bar box. So it was real easy for him to pocket balls. I don't like what Bobby did there because... Uh, th those balls being tied up right here uh, is, is bad for Danny. So when your opponent has balls tied up in this area on the table, it's it's a good thing for you. 
Because then that player can't do this. That player can't, if they get an open shot, they can't continually run balls. Thank you, Shannon. So now it's like a smorgasbord. Look at this. Danny gets an open shot on anything. It's like he's got a bunch of balls he can shoot at. Pardon me. And if he was tied up, if they were all tied up right here, he got nothing. What is Danny doing? He's trying to, he's trying to jump out the window, guys. This game is not about shot making unless you're Alex Pagulion, Shane Van Boning, Tony Chohan, unlucky Bobby Jan. That is, that's just a cold, cold, cold deck right there. But yeah, this game isn't about shot make making. It's about table position. It's about, it's about creating a strong position for yourself and then capitalizing on it. Right? It's not a game about doing the, the, the fancy thing that makes you steal the game. It happens from time to time, especially at the higher levels, but for the rest of us, this game is about recognizing where your strengths are on the table, what parts of the table favor you in your current position and which parts don't which parts directly favor your opponent and which parts indirectly favor your opponent and doing things about all those things and also creating opportunities for yourself when you start to see the table like that it makes it so much more interesting like these balls right here are everything for Daniel everything they force bobby to leave the cue ball below this line obviously he's scratched um and if i'm if i'm danny honestly i'm i'm uh i'm taking this ball first i'm taking this ball first i'm st i'm putting the rock right here what's going on bobby's stealing balls from danny Putting the rock right there, and I'm, I'm, I don't like this because now you're forcing yourself to draw the ball instead of stun it. You put the ball here and make this ball, and you stun over to here. Now you're forcing yourself to draw the rock or follow and come back out. But then when you follow and come back out, the odds that you get the optimal angle are very low. Where if you stun the rock, right? Sorry, if you stun the rock off the three it's much more likely that you end up with an angle that you can either stun out this way for the next ball or draw or come around the table for the next ball like that. Oh, no, he's going to hit these balls. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, the ball just stopped, like, perfectly in time to not sell out the game. Not the game. Well, the game. Danny's got three. He only needs to go to seven. He made. He just made the bank anyway. Wow, Danny. Nice shot. Are we, are we looking? Whoops. I keep doing that. I need to get rid of that button. I'm, I'm getting rid of that button, guys. I'm getting rid of it right now. Boom, deleted. No, Bob Bobby does not bank pocket speed at all in one pocket. Not at all. Not one bit. It's a huge hole in his game. Right? Yeah, we're at 4 to 2, guys. 4 to 2 is correct.
<laughs> John Sweep. <laughs> nice, dude. Yeah, where is the post-up logo? Do I not have it on screen? How do I not have the post-up logo? Here it is, guys. Boom. I like that logo. That is a nice logo. I'm thrilled with the way it turned out. Fiverr. And if you got a vision and you don't necessarily need someone else to come up with a ton of creative, you know, take part in the, a ton of the creative process, if you have a vision, Fiverr's awesome. And it's affordable. I think in total for this logo, as I went through the creative process, help, having uh, professional illustrators kind of illustrate what I was thinking of, and then deciding, no, I don't like that. This is what I like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think in total, I spent like two or three hundred bucks on this logo. So worth it. So worth it. Adrian Prasad. Hey, Adrian. Adrian, I got some merch for you, buddy. picture of each, of ourselves together sporting the don't be a knit t-shirt where do i put the logo though i mean i've already got i already my the symmetry of the page i I've, where do I put it? Like here? Here? Down here? I don't know. Dude. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I don't know where I like it.
I guess it goes there, yeah. Is the other side's no good because it's, it's like... We like the dead space on the right side of the table. Bobby Jan just hitting this into the short rail. Yikes. Sorry, I know I I'm fudged up the score. Danny Phantom needs two. Bobby needs the world. You didn't like the logo up here? There you go. There it is. Snooker says it looks good right there, yes. going to scratch too. Wow. And the 15 balls over the line, guys. The 15 ball is, is playable here. Who, Adrian? Who is? <laughs> Post up tattoos. Someday. Bridge and funny here. Eight hundred more. Oh, on Facebook? Really? We pushing that ten K mark? Oh, sorry, my reflection. Let's put you guys overhead. That's right, okay, nice. Danny needs one. And the five ball's free, it goes. Whoa. Don't want to overcut it that much, though. I'm down for a post-up tramp stamp. I just need to hear that like three more times in my life and I could die a happy man. is wrong it's not Danny does not have six Danny has five guys I don't know why I have the score wrong doubles me and Collins with the don't be a knit shirt <laughs> versus the knit who Jerry Got three. 
No, Bobby's got four. I took the I took the ball away from the wrong player, guys. Score is five to four. Me and you versus Jerry and Francis, and they have to give us 10-7. No, probably 10-6. If they give us 10-6, I'd give it a shot. And they, But they're stealing. They're stealing, dude. At 10-6, they're stealing. Maybe 11-6. Oh my god, this is close. This is close. The cue ball gets out of the... No, it doesn't get out of the way. It sits for a... Just dink donk. Don't do nothing here, Bobby. Just, just hit the ball. Dink donk. Don't try to bank the ball. Dink donk. No, he tried to bank the ball. It's not even going to get there. I, I would have just tippy tap, 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 tap a -roo. Too tough to get the ball anywhere near the hole or let alone in the hole. Too tough. Hi, Rob. You mentioned that you are not... A fan of the Peach Hour carbon fiber shaft. I'm curious why. Uh, are you talking to me? My name's Collins. Or are you talking to someone in the chat? I don't mean to get in the middle of a conversation if you're talking to someone in the chat. This is not going to go. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So the peach hour shaft. Let me let me just say the carbon fiber. Uh, the way the ball deflects off of, it's just more similar to like a, a synergy. And I just don't. If I'm gonna go carbon fiber, I'm going carbon fiber for like the lowest deflection possible. Uh, but the thing about the synergy shaft. I, I, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how I want to say it. But I, I think that the... For my personal preference, if I wanted a cue that was going to perform in a similar way to a peach hour carbon fiber shaft, I'd just get a wood shaft. I'd get a low deflection wood shaft. There's something about the super low deflection on a Revo with that like really stiff, crisp, kind of almost twang, like like the way that the cue vibrates. It just works for me. And that's the way that carbon fiber should feel in my mind, right? So if I'm going to have a cue that doesn't perform exactly like that, I'd rather just have like a 314.2 or 314.3 or whatever they're at now. Uh... Or like a, one of the low deflection McDermott cues.
it's not necessarily about the deflection alone. It's it's both of those things together. The way that the the the, sh the impact feels with the deflection. It's like the recipe. It's more of like a subconscious, like uh, feeling of justice. <laughs> I like white carbon, actually. I actually like the white carbon shaft. Uh, Danny Phantom is playing with one right now. Oh, Bobby. It's 5-5 five, five right now. I, I was about to update the score, and then Bobby scratched. I'd say in this moment, Danny is 30-70. I think he misses this ball. Yeah. In that moment, I think Danny misses that ball. Earlier, like last game, he makes it for sure almost. It's like 80% in his favor. But just the way that the balls have been moving and he hasn't really been shooting at his hole a lot, all of a sudden it makes it real tough. How was the Rhino? Oh, the Rhino was solid. I like... I was surprised. Pleasantly surprised with the Rhino. I don't think I'd go out of my way to buy one. But it was solid. Super low deflection. That's the thing. The reason I like the white carbon and I liked the Rhino for carbon fiber is it's like they're both super low deflection like a Revo. So... Whoa, that 10 ball, yowza. You want me to put it back? One moment. One second. One moment, one moment, one moment. Good, good. We are good. Don't you dare scratch him. Uh-oh. That's like the ultimate worst thing that could have happened right there. If, if Danny makes this one shot, could be over. 
and hill hill ultimate worst thing to double kiss that ball and go straight straight up table to make another ball so that danny has another ball to get position on it's easy to overcut this ball though hit it decent and the cue ball is looking great wow bobby's gonna concede the game oh no that was that was the last ball needed wow we have a hill hill match Wow, 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 wow. Hill, hill. What do you know? What's up? Yeah. What's going on down there with uh, with uh, Jesse, the Whistler? I heard it's not too expensive, like a two hundred. We're getting he's getting ten five. I don't think it's, <laughs> it's, not, think nearly it's, enough. Enough. <laughs> it's not nearly enough. It's not nearly enough. I don't think it's quite enough. He can win though. Of I mean, course. What they're racing a three, or something? Uh, you know, that's they're probably racing a three. I think they probably are. Yeah. Forgive me, I'm just seeing like. It's uh, fear and loathing in Las Vegas. I'm so tired right now. Yeah. Yeah. The set I just played took forever. Put it this way, it's not tired now. I was very fortunate to be up 6 to 2 going to 9, and I won 9 8. And it wasn't wow. like. I versus, mean, the, the uh, gentleman did his part too, but like I missed many Brian. opportunities. Yeah, I just started, you know, this one of those things you start seeing dizzy and then. You start getting a little bit gun shy. They start getting more confident, you know, all of that stuff. So, what's up, everybody? Odium's tank always in the building. Big Queen, Big Queen, small Niner fan. That's what I'm gonna <laughs> call him from now on. Yikes! That's what I'm gonna call him from now Does on. Does he bet on KC? Yeah, real Niner man doesn't do that shit, man. Yeah. Can't do, even if you think all this. I just, I'm sorry, but. It's always good to see you in person and in the chat, man. It's always good to see this guy, man. I know, man. He's just uh Look how good he's dressed, guy. man. I, dude, I mean, he... Oh, he's wearing the Jordan shirt! He stays fitted. Oh, he stays is fitted. What's fly. up, Walker? Fly AF. I gotta check. I think you sent me a message in Messenger, man. I gotta check. I'm sorry. I've been keeping myself busy. The Row Show. Dude, I love, this. I love this rail. Oh, dude, isn't that great? I, think right I there? love this rail more than anything in the world. Look Imagine what they're talking about. Scott's like, oh. Scott's like, look at these guys. Yeah. You think you think either one of these guys could get a ball on Scott Frost? Yeah, exactly. And they're going back, and then the the red then red like, beard. No, 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 bro, bro. Yeah. If they were playing SVB. And then he would talk about what what his cousin would do, and and yeah. then. Scott the shot would say, well, I'm a negative 90, you know, so I yeah, can't do yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you what I would do. <laughs> Dude, so I love that rail. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Taking a break at Hill Hill, guys. How's the tournament? What's up, Jay Rabbit? It looks like Jay Miles was taking balls from a table, so it's nearing the end, I think. It is nearing the end. Who do we got? Uh, Bob. Bob oh, damn. Danny Phantom. Like Bob Betts? He looks ready. Bob? Yeah, I think so. Nice. I think so, right? That's pretty impressive. Travis. I don't know any Travis. I'm not sure. Travis, Travis Kelsey? Oh, okay. man. That's a still too soon, man. Okay. I wish I didn't get so emotionally invested. That's all I kept telling to my family I was watching the game with after. I was like, I'm so mad at myself right now. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm so bothered by it. Beard corner on <laughs> the real yeah, version. Yeah, real. right? <laughs> for real. <laughs> I was going to hang with them, but you know, I don't got the beard, man. They say the goatee don't quite cut it.
Oh, that's Hold dope. on, we were muted. What was that? I'm gonna get part of his Black Friday shit. That's sick, yeah. That's right on. Dope. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it right now. He volunteered her having him too, so he's the tension, right? Right, right, right. Good shit, Bobby, good shit. Wow. That's what I'm That's talking right. about, man. Spread it. Spread it. Spread he's he's saying That's that Brian dope. Hart. Where is he? He's helping run the tournament now. Let's see. Where is he Bobby at? Bobby at. He at? Okay. Oh, right here. Right here. Right here. Down right. Oh, yeah, right. yeah. There we go. You got him. So Look at this. Bobby's giving him his one-year sobriety chip. Wow. Brian that. Hart has been sober for a year. That is dope. That is tremendous. Yeah, it is. Impressive. Yeah, that's right on, man. Right on. Very cool, Brian. Back in a flash. Yeah. Oh wait, what were you gonna say? Well, I was gonna make the inappropriate joke, probably of like cheersing, or I'll drink to that. But that's not well, he might think it's funny. Okay, so. well, that's that's how I was just holding back the whole time, saying I'll drink to that. <laughs> That's, that's dope, though. Congratulations. Seriously. That's like, dope. that's hella impressive, man. Yeah. Well, All it's, seriousness. It's, regardless of, of how anybody on the planet thinks about, you know, alcohol or whatever thing that somebody else might be trying to mm -hmm. not partake in, the thing that is impressive is I've decided to do something and I've done it. Yes. For an extended yeah. period of time. Yeah. And it's a change of character. Definitely. Right? Definitely. So, like outside of the context like there might be somebody out there you know even watching now I don't, i'm not saying this about my viewers or any particular individual i'm just you know there's enough people watching that it's certainly possible that there might be a person that's struggling with that for sure right now and, for sure. and they have no idea how they could possibly do that and it's like there's a person right, right. here that was in your place right a right. year ago right and decided enough is enough yeah, you know, and yeah. they made a real change. That's really cool. Really, really yeah, cool. Yeah, exactly. Well yeah. said. Well said. Yeah, you know, see, it's all possible. Yeah. Something you can relate to. That's yeah, that's awesome, 100%. man. And really cool that's that Bobby dope. wanted to showcase that. Yeah, that man. Cool. That's Bobby's that kind I like, of guy. Yeah, I like, yeah, I like Bobby. Bobby's just yeah. a good dude, man. He's just a good dude all around. I always enjoy when I get to spend some time with him in the pool room, man. Yeah. Barn burner here, man. Two two. It sounds like it was a good even match, right? I mean, they've been going. I haven't been able to watch the whole thing. I've been going to like the last couple balls, like last because it's. I know it's uh, nine seven. Oh no, yes, yeah, so I've been going to like the last ball or two, like every round. Yeah, pretty except much. for one game. Except okay. for one game. Wow. Danny beat him seven to two in one game. One game. Okay. Okay. That right happens. So, all right. So Bobby winning the lag or coin flip gets the break here. Very nice. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Yeah. All right, all right. Wow. Yeah, I see Bart Mahoney in the chat. Hello, friend. How you doing? Yeah. Nice shot. Really simple. It's super important, especially when you're hill hill, dude. And you're playing against somebody if you're if you're like not necessarily in the game a lot. Mm -hmm. 
and neither is the other guy, and they're not playing a lot of one mm. hole. If you just pump the brakes, the other guy will jump off the cliff. Sure. You know what sure. I mean? Sure. Just keep it simple. Yeah. yeah uh, you yeah. don't have to play overly defensive and send all the balls up table, but I'm just right, saying, like, right, right, keep right, it super right, right, simple right. Yeah, and yeah, wait yeah. for the other guy to leave you a shot. Sure. sure. And then what ends up happening is if both players realize that, the game changes on its own, right? Yeah. The, if both players realize, okay, well, I'll just dink him around, then the other guy's going to realize, okay, he's dinking him around, and the game will evolve on its own. But you have to go through that dance. You have sure. to go through that dance, or you're probably going to be the one that's going to lose. <laughs> right. If you're the one that's right, taking right, the super right. taking the, aggressive yep, shot. Yep, you know? yep, yep, yep. For sure. For sure. He called a foul on himself. Oh. He touched the 13. I saw the 13 move, but apparently it touched the four. So. Okay. Oh, yeah. I was Very cool by Bobby. I saw the 13 move, but. Yeah, that's the. That's just good. I, mean, I don't know. It just seems the right thing. I've called plenty of fouls on myself. You know what I mean? Just. I don't know. Yeah. It just seems like the way to do it. I don't. I well, don't in those spots, too, it's like tough to know whether or not you actually fouled. Sure. Sure. That's you a good know? point. That's a good point. And there, there, I was playing a set earlier and. Uh, I was at a weird angle where I had to like I had a two that was a great, that was a great shot. shot. I had a like a uh, like kind of Z kick at a ball. Why do you why do you take why do you spot? He got a rail with the three ball. Did he? He wait. put he put the post up uh, thing up. He got a rail with the three ball. I'm not sure what's going on there. Huh? Yeah, I didn't I I I'm not sure on that one. Is yeah, that know. a double hit or something? That's only like it. Maybe, yes, maybe, maybe, you yeah, know, maybe, maybe there's something with his cue. Yeah. Um, oh, I, oh, all I was trying to say earlier was I, I Z kicked out a ball, and it came in soft on the ball, and Smart I, shot. I, I was at a weird angle where I didn't, I couldn't tell if it hit a rail. So I asked my opponent, because I, I looked at him, and he kind of had a look, a little like, you know, a little uncertain kind, kind of look. So I said, did it hit a rail? You know, did I get a rail? Because I don't know. I said, you know what? I don't know either. I said, I was at a weird angle. That's why I was asking you. So I just kind of clicked the ball and gave it ball in hand. And then the player next to us said, man, you hit a rail, dude. It was good. <laughs> but uh, yeah. I mean, I didn't know. And he didn't know. So I was like, well, if neither one of us knows. And he's not feeling great about it. I don't want that bad feeling. You know right. what I mean? I don't know. Replay, replay what just happened you want to see replay maybe, on the foul yeah, thing yeah, yeah. I, I yeah maybe might, yeah it might be worth checking out let's see if we could figure it out i mean pretty significant in case game fairly possibly significant but yeah yeah true true there was no foul unquestionably no foul huh Danny's just a nice guy. He is. He's also a little bit of a self-doubter from time to time. From In the game. In the game I'm talking about specifically. So that one looked like a foul right there, but previously not the case. Watch. Let's see here. He just went right to... Huh. He just went immediately over yeah, and took the foul. Immediately before the three gets there, he starts heading towards like, yep, that's a great shot. Hmm, must have been a brain fart, yeah. like computation moment where it's like normally he feels like, like I've been here before, I've done that. Like, the cue this, ball didn't yeah. get to the rail, right, like normally right, he's used right, to the right, cue right, ball getting to the rail right, or something. I don't, I have right. no idea. Well, ho hopefully it hasn't become too much of a factor. Yeah. It's oh, hard to nice. say, though, right? I mean, like, it's got to be big. I mean, because even if he, like, <laughs> has to spot a ball that comes into play, bless you, by the way, because <laughs> tight. No worry, because tight. But, I mean, even if it doesn't, like, seem like it's big on ball count, but, like, having to spot one and it comes into play, yeah. it seems like it's, you know, definitely going to affect uh, the rack here, the game. I don't know if it was talked about yet. I just got to say that, you know, I... I when I asked Danny recently um, how long he's been playing pool, you know, he said like 14 months, I think, 15 months, something, one of those two numbers. I just think it's hella cool that he's, 
liking one pocket and wanting to play one, yeah. getting to action with one the pocket whole, already. You know what I mean? That's chat. so look cool. Look at the whole chat. Everybody's saying he was only watching the six ball, didn't even know the three was, three was moving. moving. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, before the, yeah, he starts, like I said, he starts walking before. Yeah. Yeah. No, I like that about Daniel. He's like super interested in the game, the depth. Yeah. I'll be right back. Sure, sure. I'll take your time. Take your time. If we're playing 14 months, you know, he plays all right already. And I'm interested to see the outcome for sure because uh, I've been watching. Uh, yeah, I think everybody in the chat's right about that. He just kind of wasn't even paying attention to the three ball. But I'm surprised that Bobby didn't catch it either. Like I, like I said, like calling fouls on yourself, I would tell my opponent the same thing. Like, oh, it's, what are you doing? It's not a bad hit, man. But uh, anyway, I was just surprised too a little bit about the outcome. I've been Bobby been playing, uh, been practicing a lot of one pocket recently, and been banking the balls good and. And uh, I don't know. I just kind of thought for whatever reason he would uh, come out on top, even given 9 7 in this game. But, you know, I mean, he still might, but it's uh, neck and neck here. I'm going to try to get a ball count for you guys, see if we can update. I know Danny's got at least a ball or two here now. Give me a second. Let's see. This is like uh, Danny's got two balls here. Keep it in the jokes. PG on that one, please. Oops. Bam. There we go. Oh yeah, Bobby uh, was the Danny was blocking Bobby's view of it. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, because I don't think Bobby would have done anything intentional. Like he caught a foul on himself just a minute earlier. So makes all the sense in the world. <clears throat> oh man, it's been a long day, y'all. Still consider myself a, a, a much newer player to the one pocket game and uh i know that like my instinct i think maybe my strength is just like ball pocketing just shooting at ball so it's um it's sometimes hard to just see simple things that people will do to get out of a tight spot sometimes there's such simple things i see people do i'm like oh yeah feel like you know like i'm reading a children's book and just learning basic things when i watch good players do really simple things in the one pocket game i'm like oh yeah i could do that and i'm always like because my instinct is always shoot the ball straight yeah. i mean or you know if i could see a, a good save i I, yeah. I, mean, I could see those too but sometimes when it's a for me somewhat of a complex layout they just see such simple things where they just move a ball i'm like oh yeah that's easy now now they're you know, now they have to come with something oh, i've yeah. never i've never thought of what you're talking about in these terms before mm -hmm. like spelled out this way okay but my thought process about the game has become this uh without it, it actually being in these words in my head okay but uh in all, every other game that we play yeah 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 it's either you're playing a shot an offensive shot or you're playing a safe sure sure one pocket there's a third option mm-hmm mm -hmm manipulate the table to your advantage right 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 sure. you're not necessarily and usually it involves some sort of what you might define as a safe in another game okay. but 
it's more like you're rearranging right, right. the layout of the table to your advantage. And I know that it's a similar definition to those other shot types, right? But it's not exactly the same thing. It's it, the, it's the thought process that gets you to the shot that is different. You get what I'm saying? Yes. Yes, very much. Where you, it's like, okay, safe usually means protect the cue ball, protect the shot against the opponent. Right. Right? Right. Offensive shot means shoot something at the hole that I'm trying to pocket. Right? Right. Where this third option is there are a ton of balls on the table. Some of them are good for me. Some are, Some of them are bad for me. Some of them are good for my opponent. Some of them are bad for my opponent. Yep. And then what can I do to create more ones that are good for me and less ones that are bad for, that are good for my opponent? Or even just create more that are bad for my opponent. What I mean by that is, look, these balls are bad for this hole. Right, 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 right. right, right. So I could create more balls that are yeah. bad for that hole right, by right, putting right, the right. six ball in here. Right, 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 right. It's not necessarily good for me. Right, well... But it's bad for my opponent. Bad for your opponent, right? Yeah, right. which so, I guess is good for you if you want. Yeah, to say in, that, right? it's indirectly, <laughs> right, it's right, indirectly right, right. good for you. Sure, where if sure. you had balls littered out over here, that is directly good for right, you. Right, right. No, know I, what follow. I, mean? I follow. That's a, yeah. that's a that's a good analysis. I mean, it's a good uh, perspective, good way yeah. to look at it. I like that. It's called like a move. That. That's what they a call. Move. Yeah, that. What I'm yeah. talking about is what they call a move. moving. Move. Yeah. You got nice moves. Oh, he's good at... He's a mover. That's <laughs> yep, what yep. they're talking about. Right, that's always, that's so if always. you're one of those people that's outside the game or just getting into the game and you don't yeah. really know what they mean when they say, oh, yeah, he's good at moving, yeah. that's what they mean yep. by moving. I got to see how you move. We'll play cheap. Yeah. I got to see how you move. Yeah, exactly. I have no idea what the score is now. I've been in the restroom and then... Yeah, I, I try to update in it. The it, was, zone. it was 2-0 for a minute, and I think Bobby has at least a ball now. Let's Bobby go. has one. Bobby has one. And it looks like Danny has three. Yeah, Randy, you're going to have to... I might have to go to the joint and hang with you on a Friday, man. You're going to have to... Setting traps. Help me see traps a little more, man. The fourth option, setting traps, is just an... Like the most effective move. I think it still falls into the third category, but it's like a perfectly executed right. move. Because it's all of the above. It's an offensive shot and a safety, and it creates more good things for you and bad things for your opponent, and right. there's nothing they can do about it. I it's like the ultimate move. I see trap shots all the time after I shoot at them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Shannon. That's an example of a move, yeah. Yeah. It's a great game. It's a great game. It's so good. Mm. No love off the 15. Well. Oh, that was... Uh, okay, I'm getting confused for you. Which is easy, easily done right now. You aren't in a trap if you drill it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I agree with Billy and John right there because yeah, yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a good ideology. Make Bart. your opponent want to quit. You know what? It's funny, mm. Bart. I gotta say, I've heard that from more than one person. Where like someone once told me to something like. I just get off on making my opponent cringe. Yeah. Like, I'm like, oh, okay. Like, it sounds kind of a little twisted, man. But I, I think I get it, though. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I'm trying to work in a little one pocket here and there still, like, uh, more so these last few months. But these last few weeks, I've just been in rotation mode. I probably could benefit from 
playing a little more one pocket. It helps. It helps like uh, touch shots. I, like I've been shooting where I just kind of like fire balls in. I don't really want to like uh, slow roll balls. I just want to stroke balls in. I, I feel like I can make most shots, and uh, but then my touch shots are off a little bit. You know, like when I need a little finesse. A little touch it's a little harder for me to execute i feel like when i was playing one pocket a little bit more than i've been playing lately it's like that really helps you know make me have the little touch and and incorporate that in the game a little easier looks like he's gonna miss this ball ron diggy what's up that was his hole right that he was uh, straight into uh, yeah, he has the bottom right pocket there. I'm not sure. Ron Diggy. Uh, is that Ron? Homeboy Ron? We last saw each other at the joint, Ron. Yeah, dude, if that's you, I'm down. To, we can always practice some games, man. One hole's good, man. It's a good game. It's good to practice. I like practicing with people that are just play really cheap or, or, or just for fun, just because I'm still experimenting and learning. Oh, Oakland, Ronnie, what's up? Yeah, man, we could do like the cheap games like we did before. You know, I'm down to play a 10 a game or something like that, man. Good practice for me. You do, uh, you do play. I like your 1 0 game. Play good, man. I, res I respect it. Yeah, I just like you, man. I think he's been playing a little more one pocket with some of them, you know, good, more good, good, good players. Good players. Yeah, they're good players, and even he's been getting spots and practicing and getting you know some lessons. Bobby's got like, more tools in his lessons. belt, but but Danny's been studying the game. Right, 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 right. I was just like, I was just thinking that earlier, Danny. I mean, um, about the match, Bobby definitely has more tools. That's exactly the term I use too. But yeah, I didn't, I didn't realize. Uh, that uh, Danny has kind of um, been at such a fast steady, you know what I mean? He's doing yeah. a few things really well, mm -hmm. really right. Just with the um, shot selection, you know? Yeah. I mean, this is essentially the Jerry Matchin versus Steve Hausch match, or like not necessarily someone as good as Steve Hausch, but like. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, yeah, no, I got you. Like. Wow, look at that. Made him kick at it. Yeah. Shannon, uh, I, I agree. You know, like, when I was playing a lot, or not a lot more, I, mean, I guess I should say, I was playing a little more one pocket uh, than I was probably playing rotation for about a month or two. And I just, my analogy was, like, I feel like it helped me see I think I said this before, smaller, like meaning more attention to detail. Like a lot of times yeah. you're just looking at a couple of basic things when you're pre-shot routine, getting down on the ball, tip placement, stroking through. But like I'm thinking of all these little components, you know, yeah. with uh, per like a lot of times you're just going into the shot line with your cue ball. Yep. You're not playing ball speed for your object ball yep. and cue ball speed yep. like in such a delicate way and then you're looking at other like the tickies and the stack yeah. and all that so it's like it helped me pay attention to more detail and that, start and that started becoming part of my pre-shot routine almost like the way i approach was a little bit more uh wow damn that was a nice Bobby. shot uh, you start that to nice. like when you when you are looking into uh, shots into clusters or dealing with clusters and stuff too. You start to extrapolate like not only yes. not only secondary contacts, but where where are those secondary yes. contacts likely to go? Yeah. Just in what direction? Yeah. And uh, and it, it 
yeah, it just makes you process the game on a on a finer level. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you cannot in this game you cannot afford to at least try to pay attention right. or to not try right. to pay attention right. 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 to right. those right. things. It's like, I'll, just, I'll, I'll go for it. Like, see how well that works out for you. <laughs> man, that opened up some, some balls for Bobby, man. Tough shot here. This, this yeah. is, I'd say for Bobby, especially with the chicken wing like habit that he has, when he's got this kind of bridge over some balls, it's it's really lowers his percentages. I think he's like uh, probably forty percent, thirty five percent to make this ball. Well, he, he hit it real he did really good. Really good. Hit it really like good. hard of the hole. Right. In a rhythm. I mean, now he can he watch. I mean, he's gonna swing at the two railer for sure. The one railer on the seven might be close. You know, so no. let me ask you your opinion. Even if it was a little bit, I mean, unless you can totally protect the cue ball, like no, I don't want to, I don't want to open any of that crap. It's not up, nearly right? as good as I thought it yeah, was. I thought yeah, the seven yeah. was maybe a more, an inch further to the right as we're looking yeah, at it right now. Yeah, if it yeah. was, then I'd shoot at it. But, but no, I'm thinking you do like a half ball hit with some right, and then send the cue ball back here at Danny's hole. You could leave the, the cue ball near the seven and six, actually. Yeah. Draw the ball yes. two rails. Yes. Even better. Yes. Because then that just way, don't, just don't slam into them, open them up for them. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. That's I'm all. thinking like right around here. There's nothing wrong with just coming off the side of the ball too. Nothing wrong with that. Not bad, not bad, not bad. You leave a, a pretty free bank on the one ball, but it's yeah. actually extremely free. But the thing that can happen with this shot is if he overcuts the ball and he clips those balls on mm. the left hand rail, mm. yep. he's screwed. Yeah, yeah. Because the cue ball will yeah. go wild too. Okay, he didn't hit it to, to make it. Right. Okay, okay. He said, I'm going to make Bobby come with it. All right, all right. Buying some time. 5-4, right? So. Uh, oh, wait. About, actually, what about, we're missing a ball, right? Are we? Three, six. No, never mind. Six. I'm, I, I can't uh, do anything right, right Bank now. the four into the cluster. And follow mm. the cue ball to leave a tough yep. bank. Yep, 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 yep. Don't, don't bank it back to Rails your side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This Very is great. nice. Perfect. Oh, oh don't go in, though. Oh, boy. God this is it. interesting. It's not terrible. Well, it's not, it's not, it's not ideal, but it's not, it's not terrible. What year did Fargo rate start? I don't mm. know. It must have been 2016. Yeah, I could. 2014. I wasn't playing pool back then, man. I don't know. It's got to be pushing 10 years. Yeah. Seven yeah. to 10 years ago. Okay. Yeah. Sounds probably. It was like Bitcoin in the beginning. No one really was like, what the heck? What what's it, that? What is it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Well, not bad. Not bad. Yeah. See, and that, that's, this that's is where this right. bank being here, if he goes aggressive, right. all of a sudden, if he clips the one ball, the, the six is going to fly towards Bobby's hole if he's yep, going after yep, it. Yep, yep, yep. <clears throat> and now he's got a free bank on the four. Yep, yep. <clears throat> so that cluster proving to be indirectly good for Bobby. <laughs> Definitely, I hope. Uh, I hope some of the like uh, more seasoned one pocket players are kind of like enjoying seeing more novice or newer yeah. guys to the game. You know, watching it, right? Yeah. It's got to be fun to see. Oh, I mean, I like seeing it. I'm hoping everyone else is sharing the appreciation for it. Oh, it's shortened pretty. it up real nice, but it's not gonna. Ooh, yeah. the point helped him. Yeah, it, it was did. looking like it was gonna yep. dress up for a return bank. Return, yeah. No, I had a good. Bobby does good with the bridge. You know, you don't see that all uh, yeah, all the whoops. time with that uh, bridge through Old the middle. But he, he's always done it though since I've known him, man. These last couple of years. Does it good. All right. So now it was five five now. Five, five, five. He also does the thing where when he does the closed bridge, mm -hmm. he like bridges way across his head. Yeah, 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 definitely. A little, a little less traditional. 
Okay. Didn't open up a lot. For Steve him, but Griffith, you're a little late, buddy. Much. Yeah. A little late to the party. Steve, what's up, man? We got it. Did he get a rail on that one? I looked away for a we second. got that Don't Be a Knit shirt. Oh, yeah. It's great, right? No, dang it. Bobby had to pay up a ball. Uh, that's a big problem. I, I, I've had the last few times I've been playing one bar. I feel like I'm... I feel like my oh, oh, oh. plenty of speed. That was good. That was Never good. in doubt. Never in doubt. Yeah, I feel like my average is like two point five fouls per rack. Always going backwards. Always paying up a ball or two. Did it good. Didn't hit that cluster up. Just. See what the new like, new like kid comes with. Yeah, that's how I was thinking. It's kind of you gotta. I mean, like I was thinking that so many shots, you gotta deal with it and open it up. It's just killing you. It's guy. killing you. It's killing you. Yeah. And this is a such a great opportunity to just right like, here with the side of the, the right. Yeah, you can hide it. Yeah, balls, yeah, yeah. You just hit the, the nine, right real, the nine soft, real soft, get around. and kind of open them up so you got some things to shoot I at, man. Open them. I just try well, to not a ton, but I mean, a little. There, so you, well, Bobby sure, that's priority one. Yeah, you're right. You're right, but. Uh, it's a late one tonight. Yeah, yeah, it really is. It really is. They've been playing since 7:20. It's Jesus, a long set. It's a long race, man. That's how one pocket can go. You always got some cool ambassadors, you know, watching the stream, you know, liking and sharing and spreading the word, encouraging everyone to do it. It's always cool, man. Like a whole, Honestly, a whole you guys, community. You guys man. are the best. Like, yeah, the it's best hella ones. cool. Got some the, diehard, you know, fans. The it's best cool. pool oh, no. player fans oh, no. on the internet. This oh, isn't oh, terrible. Yeah, it's not I terrible. Shoot my, sorry, I just was like, oh no. It's not terrible. Danny's got to come with a shot here. This is not an easy shot, and, and uh, the nine does not solve the problem. Yeah, okay. Mm, I mean, I you got to shoot at the 11, and then hope that when you open the 10 up, you don't scratch. I guess that's a fair point. Only needs to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I <laughs> you know shoot that. at the nine here, I you know leave the you one, mean. don't you? Yeah, totally. Totally. Yeah. Even if, you know, he hits it to where he makes it, yeah, he's going to leave uh, Bobby the one. But, yeah, John, that's a good point. You're right, you're right. I know the balls you need dictates that. What's up? Let's go, Sniper, in the chat. All right. Nice. All right. So yeah, yeah. Bobby. All right. I think that's right. Five, five. Oi, 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 oh no. Or Danny Boy did not want that, obviously. Oh, I did that reverse, didn't I? Oops. There we go. We're on the job. You tell him, Shannon. You tell him. <laughs> <laughs>
it, it, it is interesting still, right? I mean, uh, especially may, maybe even more so for newer players to the game with one bike, but how you just uh, you, you just you get ball in hand or you have these opportunities at shots that all of a sudden come to you and you're just like, uh, uh, like you've been yep. ticking at balls, bunting at balls and or you're trying to play the cue ball in such a way where you're slow rolling the ball, playing pocket speed a little bit. It's just like, man, it's just, it takes a little while to get really proficient at shooting that way, you know? This isn't going to work. Mm, it won't get too bad on them. <laughs> Honestly, at this point, with them balls tied up on my side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'd just be getting to the point where I'm like, screw it. I'm just blasting them, blasting them open. Blasting them open. <laughs> They've been ruining my game for the whole game. You know what though? Most of the time when you do things like that, it works out so well. <laughs> <laughs> it just okay. works out so well. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Like you know, whatever. Like the energy you have, you're just like, I've waited. I've waited. Okay, let's just go. It, like it just seems to work. <laughs> it seems to work. All right, John, let's see. Keep waiting for him to bank the nine. <laughs> Bless you. Into the ten, seven. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was wire, right? Until that, uh, whatever ball that is, 11. Yeah, until the 11. Whoa, whoa, there. whoa. It was wired. I was seeing that the whole time, too, John. I was like, that thing is just sitting there wired. Yeah. It was close. I don't think it was dead. Not dead, not dead. It, uh, yeah. I okay. think it was point fair, fair, long fair, round. fair. It, you know, it might not have dropped, but it was going to. It was close enough. It was going to go over the whole. Yeah, you could put it in front of the whole release. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. Hello, Danny Phantom leaving Banks for Bobby Jan. Yeah, Mike. Well, Danny's new to the game, man. You know, he's I'm new to pool, really. I mean, he's like less than a year and a half in the pool, and he's already mixing it up in some one hole. So there's going to be some, you know, a lot of learning still. But props to him for, you know, I just think it's cool, one, that he likes the game and that he's mixing it up in the game. So props to him for mixing it up like that. As Colin's shirt says. Don't be in it. Nobody likes them. Don't. Not you. Not me. Don't do it. Not just those. No. Don't be in it. Don't. Don't do it. Let me play, play, play. I wish you would have heard the banter that I was trying to tell you about earlier. I, I can't dare repeat it, but it was. It was Facebook Live worthy. It was really uh, good. It was okay. really good. I heard John's got a. Uh, got a mouth on him he's got one but it's he talks good stuff though and he wasn't trying to swindle under a hand he was trying to make good action man in my opinion and yeah. I, I think webster was agreeing with me on that one too. who was saying that francis is a pro well he was saying that and i i get it. he's not i mean i get he's like borderline right like he's kind of like as close like pretty damn close like about as close as you could get without being one mm, about i mean that's no be close. actually not quite no, I'd say uh, Jason Williams, Williams at his best sure. game. Sure, 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 was sure. That. But Jason isn't playing like that right now. But which is like a half. It's, really it's like a quarter close, level though. or a half level above Francis is as close as you can get without being a pro. I like got Brian it, I got Parks. It. You know sure, I mean? sure, 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 sure. Okay, okay, fair. Yeah. fair but not it's... saying that Francis can't ever beat Brian, right? But or Brian's can't supposed to win. Beat a pro, but like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I mean, so I mean, that was the only. Francis statement. is in the chat right now. He is delusional. <laughs> He's delusional. <laughs> it was it was highly entertaining. I mean, like I was just like I keep my mouth shut, but I really wanted you to get in the game. I thought he was making a decent game, but I mean, you've been around the block way more than I have, man. So. I had to respect your decisions, you know, but man, I, I liked it, man. I was one, I wanted to see it and I thought it, not just to see it, but I thought there was a good chance you get there, man. Especially if you play a set with each of those guys. It was like, play my better, my friend, the better player. And you could play me because we're about the same number of Fargo points different. He's that many Fargo points higher, Far, Fargo points higher. I'm that many Fargo points lower than you. Play us the same game to set to each. I thought, Bobby I thought, I wanted to see it, man. I wanted to see it. 
put it in, Bobby J. I believed in you, man. I believed in you. That's what I'm trying to say. You got to believe. What's up, Adon? The stat guy in the chat. What's up? It's the stat man. The stat. <laughs> I'm a stat man. Oh, that's. God, I, I, copyrights. I wish we could just redo that. I'm scat a stat man. man. Yeah, the scat man, but yeah, I'm a yeah. stat man. That's perfect. <laughs> what the Short. I, want, I, I, I wanted short. you to give it to him, man. I wanted you to give it to him. Shit. My bankroll was a little bit higher, man. I was, like, ready to help contribute, man. Francis, would you have played getting, t getting three games to 13? That's a good question. Or would you would you want four games to fifteen? I think he well, I think he asked for four to thirteen, and yeah, you know, they were like, man, it's like a third of the set. Didn't want to do it. It's not a third of the set. Well, it's not exactly. A third it's of it's actually less than a fourth of the set. <laughs> four to thirteen. Three to thirteen. No, it's four to thirteen. I said is what he was asking for. Oh, okay. And they gotcha. were like, that's almost like it's like a third of the set. So okay. That's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big difference. Four to thirteen. Yeah, we looked up the Fargo stuff. Yeah, so you're probably closer to three and a half to thirteen. Yeah. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough. Playing ten ball, right, Francis? Yeah. Not yeah. playing nine on the spot, nine ball. It's nah, no, no, I was ten game. ball. Ten ball. <laughs> You should have asked for four to 13, nine on the spot, nine ball. Q ball. <laughs> What's up, Adon? Chilling in the chat. While we're here talking about the out-of-towners coming through. Bobby only needs one oh, ball. Boy. Oh, no. And he's going to get a chance to shoot at it right now for the match. No, he needs two. Oh, I thought Bobby only needed. Oh, that's right. My he's bad. giving him My bad. He's giving him nine seven. Oh, forgive me. <laughs> well... You know, stat man, we were we were together out of town when we saw that match. We were like, wait a minute, what? Why does he? <laughs> we turned on the stream. And we we're out of town, and uh, I was like, wait a minute. I was like, is Francis getting a spot? I was like, I don't know. They started the set, and there was two games on there. Like, what what's going on here? We couldn't believe. It. Like, we had to rewind it a couple of times and listen and hear what was going on. It was uh, it was a little surprising. Uh, Francis. Like when that their match with Jeremy, getting two on the spot, uh, getting two uh, two games spotted to him in that race. Hold on. Are you looking up the hot match? It's like seven eighty nine against a seven ten. I think I looked it up here. I might have screenshot it here. Francis, the spot is actually. Hold on. Seven ninety six to get a seven ten. Took a screenshot. That's not how it works. Okay, well yeah. See, I don't, I don't, I don't fool around with that stuff enough to really like to know it. I just know I have the app on my phone and I can type in. Francis, digits. the the <laughs> Fargo rate match actually with where your Fargo is at now is seven games to sixteen. Seven to sixteen. Look. Ah, uh, okay, okay, that's right. I remember doing that now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Francis, if you're still watching, seven. To you're 16. supposed to go to not based on Fargo, which I don't think you're a seven ten exactly, but. <laughs> you 
You're supposed to go to nine and he's supposed to go to 16. That sounds ridiculous. Yeah. That sounds absolutely but ridiculous. It does, but man, I mean, like, I don't know. I just, I, I mean, he I plays know, that I, good. I, yeah. I know. Yeah, that's, that's, wow. <laughs> Fargo Schmargo. That's funny. And the stat man pointing out that Francis will be going to play in the Vegas Open along with Jeremy Long here. So Jeremy yes. wants to play in the U.S. Open stuff, too. That's I, I think Francis said he's going to. I hope to. Francis does. At least like the the one pocket that he said and the rotate. What is it? Is it nine or ten or they do both? Francis says, I'll try that. Yeah, yeah I'll try. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'll try. Well... Take a screenshot of that and, and and send it. I don't I don't know they'll bite, but I don't I'm, think there's a chance. Yeah, in you'll hell get that. You get that game. But but you can make your case, man. Tomorrow's a new day. Tomorrow <laughs> is a new day. Has Bobby got an open shot here? He does. I mean, he hits it with position on the money ball. Exactly. Exactly. Chance to get out here. Okay. <laughs> Like, I didn't write Fargo, but if that's what it says, let's go. <laughs> they say Fargo is the right They say Fargo is the right way to do it. If the players are both actively oy, 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 putting oy, games oh in no. Fargo. Danny has got to go to the If neither boys player room. is is trying to manipulate their Fargo in the long run. Three? Danny has three? <clears throat> no, no, no. The ball counts right. It's just that. Oh, wait. Yeah, Danny has Five. three. Oh, that's right. He owed a ball. What a give me. Danny has three. Bobby needs seven. Or Bobby needs two. Listen, the calls. <laughs> I wanted to see it, man. I wanted to see it. You got to admit, Francis, that dude John was talking to you. Talking some good talk, man. <laughs> He was bark. He was barking. Uh, his bark Fargo is fucking. Like it's it's, it's, it's seven ninety six. <laughs> Snooker. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh, you gotta come out with the bridge. Is it? He's gonna go out this nine ball, ain't he? Nope, he's gonna take out the two. Good for him. Well done, but he's gonna leave it a little hard. He's gonna leave the two ball. Free bank. Free bank here. Danny's back at four. <laughs> hmm. I'm guessing Danny's going at this too. I was just gonna say, if he rifles this thing, good chance he scratches. Oh yeah. The three ball spot, the one that went in the side, the one he made in his pocket, and the ball he owes. 
but that takes his ball count back down to 30. My bad, guys. My okay. bad. Uh, we were trying to respond to Snooker saying, uh, asking the question if Salado is a big thing out here and just saying, you know, yeah, people people definitely enjoy using it out here, playing it, but, I mean, I don't know about how big it is. I know they have, like, competitions and uh, contests. So, but, I mean, like, I don't know what, like, guys here in the area are killing it in those, but there's definitely some people that will just ask, Instead of like playing in an action match, if you want to play a Salado match, it gets, you know, mo a lot of, it's not like a stranger to the room here. John, both players would. Yeah. Both for players sure. would obviously they both struggle with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's an adjustment to to, to do it first yeah. too, right? Because you're used to the kind of shooting the it's, ball, not playing pocket speed. And when you just kind of play pocket speed, it kind of adjusts your aim, your stroke a little bit, you know what I mean? It's, it's not only that, but it's also before you get down on the shot being <laughs> realistic with where the cue ball will end up while playing pocket speed. You know what I mean? Because you might right, be able right, to play right, the right, pocket right. speed shot, but if the cue ball isn't realistic, you're still selling out. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Tony, you'd have to give up a lot of weight to these guys, I think, man. You know, we know one pocket's your game of choice, man. Yeah, you Tony. Play, you play it well. Tony, I would love it if a stranger on the street just handed me 100 bucks too. <laughs> I would love it. <laughs> Wouldn't that be awesome? <laughs> Jesus Christ, some people say things like that. Tony, I love you, buddy, but yeah. come on. <laughs> Snooker, is this a race to 1 a.m.? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's funny, that's funny. 
It they're still a, muted. No, the we're mics. Not, no, we're not. No, we're not muted. Okay, we're okay, not. okay, okay. I was like, we, she's a little behind. A little behind. A little, a little, a little, okay, got it. <laughs> oh, Yo, Bobby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't. Okay. Don't what? Don't what? Just get it close to the oh, hole. Right, 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 right. You know what I mean? Like, don't. Sure, yeah. Don't, don't worry about, shoot. like, firing it in. Yeah, and don't missing shoot with it the stroke. Sending to, it to the yeah, other guy. Exactly. Right. Doing just something. get it by the just hole. Just get it close. As, as comfortably, as confidently, with, for surely what you know you can do when your wheelhouse to get the best result, right? Yeah. Right, yeah, right, yeah. right, 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 right. That sort of thing. Yeah, Shannon. Oh, we were muted when we responded to that. Yeah. Sorry uh, about that. Yeah, we are uh, not going live unless there's action. And I'm doing some streaming with Fetter because he's at Skinny Bob's doing nice. that nine ball championship. So. Wait, what's going on? It's not Texas Open time, is it? I think it is. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. How fitting that even these guys, when they go hill hill, they make a wedge. <laughs> that is how fitting. That's pretty good. Oh yeah. Oh oh oh. He didn't want to do that. Fedor's brother, Fred, now lives in Texas. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. I know you met Fedor. Is that is that where he lives now? He lives in Texas. Is that where he's hanging? No. In, I mean, calling home. No. Okay, well, Snooker was saying he lives here. I guess I don't know where here is. Snooker. Snooker. I don't know where here lives is. Lives here in the United States. Oh, the U.S. I got you. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, I got it. I got it. Feels like he's gonna miss. Oh, oh no! He did, Steve, and and then he got the okay. Uh, got the okay to go. <laughs> like in contact. When Jody Foster keeps saying we're okay to go, I love we're that movie. okay to go. I, I love that movie. That's we're okay to go. Yeah. I, I thought that was the more well done movies about like, yeah, you know, life on outside of Earth. Life, yeah, 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 yeah multi-dimensional yeah. life. Yes, I, I love that one. The theologian Matthew McConaughey. You know what we used to call him in high school? Matthew McConaughey? Yeah. What? I feel like I can't say it on the okay. like, even, though, even though it's not it's not that bad. I'm one of you right now. I even... It's almost like it's not funny, but it but it's uh, yeah. so funny because yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's dumb. It's really dumb. <laughs> but it's dumb. so funny at the same time. Oh man. So do you shoot at that wedge now to try to protect your four a little bit and He's kicking with his four ball all day. He's okay. Selling out a bank. Uh Billy pointed out it's not a sellout if you make it. Oh yeah. Can bank the six snooker i agree i love that movie contact. you can you can cinch and bank the six here with inside spin to shorten it up and, and if it goes you rail. have yeah, yeah. if it goes you have a bank on the four yep yep 
Me like And it's it. pretty free. Me like it. Yeah. I mean, this is free too. This is, if you don't have that shot, then it's a good shot. No doubt, no doubt. I mean, you got to do it uh, comfortable in your wheelhouse too. And right. All that good stuff. Yeah, yeah, right, 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 right. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it wasn't that. Yeah, hit it good. Bobby needs two again. Yep. Bless you. Yeah, I didn't. Well, let's see. I don't think that worked out too. Bad. That worked out quite well. It looks like. Got a ball in play on his side. Looks a little. Yeah, he can't really bank at his hole easy. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Snooker got jokes, man. <laughs> Backing up, that's all. Yeah, it's all. Yeah, it's hard. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. A little ticky, I think, helped. Look like you had a chance to scratch. Look at even the even the viewers give you a little. God bless you. Well, it's it's Shannon. Come on. That was still very kind. Thank you, Shannon. <laughs> Don't you dare shoot that bank. Don't. Well, uh, yeah, I'm just thinking. Don't you dare. Right. You follow and just get one more ball at this point. Don't you. But, okay, well, let's see what happens. Bobby. I, I mean... The thing I'm wondering that I'm wondering is after like let's just say you gin it and make it, are you hoping to come out for a bank on the two? Exactly. Like that was the only thing about it. The two was on your side. Yeah, it was just like yeah, you get it was there for you, there for the taking. And you're not selling out the four. With you a get follow, you know, hard follow. But hmm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not Don't sure you enough. dare peek, Johnny boy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare peek in the two times world. This is my video game realm. This is my I'm wondering. video yeah, yeah, game but I'm wondering. domain. <laughs> I'm wondering. Oh, no. It was really only a matter of time. God, dog. Yeah. God, I got to go. Some chips. All right. I got Yeah. Good call. Good call. You mean like... uh. As the English would call it, crisps. <laughs> oh. Well, you guys hear that? Opportunity knocking. You 
Bobby's going to take a break. Understandably so. I think they've been going at this for over four hours now. I think. John is the first guy to scratch eight times for the win. <laughs> Come on now. Alan B, what's up? Hope you're doing well, man. <laughs> Classic Burger Meister. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I'm not, I, I, I like uh, I like eating a good burger, so I try to make it like I want it, like I was gonna eat it. Well, you know, it's a uh, it's a long game, Madonna. I know, I know. It's long. It happens. It happens. You know. I'm sure these guys are enjoying their time, man, you know? Battling it out. And they're, they're, they're not um, re regular one-pocket players, you know what I mean? They're, 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 they're more on the new side to it, and they like it, and they're mixing it up, man. I get it. I get it. Well, Bobby got an opportunity here. Let's see what him can do. Yeah, I'm sure fatigue's got to be kicking in for these guys, man. All right. No, he's back. He needs to. He needs to. But, uh, you know, if he just kind of cinches, he just rolls, you know, makes the ball, leave himself a. Oh, oh, thank you. I, I, no, I appreciate it. I, did, I didn't know. Um, anyway, I think he can. It's very doable to make this four and, and leave, leave a Don't chance. Don't even worry about the two. Yeah, well, yeah, but I Get mean, on the hill. This, yeah, right, right. I mean, and you're going to have a bank at the two. It's just how good of a bank. Don't worry about how good. the rake. Oh, God, he was in the high spot. Oh, okay. So here, here it is. Good chance to uh, close it out. How can you not love it? Oh, I love my it so God. much. God, so good. So good. <laughs> so good. You can't help I it. I love this room. I know. You can't help it. You can't help but love it. Uh -oh. oh, no. All right. Well, we got another chance here to close this out. Let's just see. Uh, Hopefully, good pocket speed, and if you don't make it, leave it close to the hole. Let's see, let's see. You hit right. Well, good speed. Notice it went long. Notice yeah. how long it went? Yes. Because he's so used to hitting them harder. Harder, right. He probably a, hit the exact hit spot yeah, that he right. normally hits. If it, yeah, if it, and, and that's what I was saying earlier when they were talking about the benefit from hitting pocket speed. I go, that's a little, they got a newer to the game. It's, it's an adjustment to start hitting balls at pocket speed. You, you have to adjust some things. It takes a little bit of time to start seeing that, figuring it out, dialing it in. <laughs> I've heard some amazing fucking statements come out from. I mean, 
classic stuff, man. <laughs> Adon says Cerezo's kid, Julio's kid, in the chat. Did you see what he said? Adon Cerezo. What do you think he is? He is what? I missed. Adon Cerezo? Oh, up top. Up top, I say. <laughs> Guys, we're in it. We've come this far. Yeah, you can't, you can't tune out now. I mean, shit. you're going to be laying there in bed all night wondering... How did that end up? And it's been, it's, it's been too good a battle, man, to figure out what's going to happen here. We'll take this game to 2 a.m. if we have to. <laughs> oh, his cue ball got really close to the spot, huh, where they have to spot a ball. That's right, he made that ball in the corner and then had to spot it. Okay, okay. Sniper in the building. Danny's got 9-7. He's getting 9-7. Yeah. He's gonna take out the seven out. I go after the four. Yeah. I'm a fan. Put the heat on him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I get it. Use like the nine or the eleven to stop the rock, you know? Yeah, you I mean, yeah, you can really put the threat on and uh, make it hard for him, you know. He can't it's gonna be hard for him to go at the ball the seven that was there for him. Oh, wow. Okay. Bobby was celebrating because he thought he made, he thought Danny made the ball for him. <laughs> Dang. All right. Well, he's got a, he got a great opportunity here, so. This would be a good opportunity. I mean, yeah. this is, this, this could be almost like making the ball for him. It could be. Let's see him. Come on, Bobby. There it is. Way to do it, man. You guys got respect good for set, each good other. Good spot. Yeah. Good matchup. For sure. What do the Railbirds think? They don't care. They're, 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 yeah, there you go. That's cool. They, they've they been practicing with Bobby during the daytime. Giving him some love. All the out-of-towners just left. They just left. I just saw him walk away about two minutes ago. All right, guys. That's going to do it for us tonight. Yeah. Thanks for hanging. You it's guys are troopers. You guys are troopers. 50-50 shot that there's a ring game on Tuesday. I don't know what I'm going to be doing. So. Ooh, 50-50. Yeah. You got to like those odds. I'm going to do this weekend. Longest ever? Way yep. to get it done, might be, man. Way to get it done. Might be the longest match we've done yet, but it was entertaining. Yeah, yeah it was a good match. Don't don't sweat it. Don't sweat it. Good I know shooting. That goes, yeah. Yep. Danny played good to get back on the hill too. That that one game that he won yeah. pretty quick. Don't sweat. Yeah. No, no worries. Thank you, man. Thank you. Oh, man. Yeah. Good Way set. Down, I think brother. it's a good Way matchup. A good spot. Yeah. Whatever you yeah. guys. It was good. It was good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, shoulder surgery. Yeah. Next buddy, um, Roman, Alex, all my homies, my nephew, everyone. If I forgot you, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right What's on, up, buddy. Man. Good job, Bobby. <laughs> all right. Yeah, so we'll see you guys soon. Definitely, um, definitely. Interesting little set there. Yeah, that was, that was, that was. Have a good night, everybody. Cheers. Peace off. <laughs>